Yo, yo! Yo, what's up, everybody? It's over 9,000! <laughs> Let's go! How's everybody doing? It's over 9,000! Let's get it! What's up, everybody? What is going on? Not if we wait on War Store. Ah, <laughs> what's up, everybody? It, it, it's over 9,000. What is going on, baby? Let's go. Let's get it. All right, we're cutting the music short, guys. We we got we got a mission, okay? We got a freaking mission right now. All right, we're farming. Metro, he said, thanks for the runs yesterday. No problem, my boy. No problem, man. We got you. Dominique, what's up, man? DT, how's it going? Storm, what's up? Nova's here. Donnie DK's in the house. What's up? It's over. Josh Zombie, what's going on, guys? What is up? How's everybody doing today, man? How's everybody's Monday? How's it going, everybody? Kill that toxic lurker. All right, so guys, we got our powers switched up. We got our hammer all set. I am missing vulnerable damage on this hammer, but that is okay for now. We swap back to rapid on our obsidian blade because we're not rocking the barrier. Um, and we're just kind of farming up. Tonight's goal. And tonight's goal only. James, what's up, man? Metro. It's over 9, Why is my... God, dude, this thing is just, just a piece of junk sometimes. It's over 9,000! It's over 9,000! I swear this thing just doesn't want to work. I hate aux cables, chat. I hate them. I hate them, I hate them, I hate them. Alright, that seems good. Alright, that's good. Alright! Tomorrow is August. I know it's crazy, man. Tomorrow is August. It is nuts. So what is up, everybody? Welcome to the stream, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. I really do appreciate it. Um, Demon92, you insane monster. Let's get the homies in here. So tonight's plan is to get to 95. That is what tonight's plan is. I think if we farm efficiently, that we are going to get there. Okay, we want to be 100 by the end of Wednesday night, chat. So that is what we're doing tonight. We're going to be playing Hoda for the foreseeable future. We got the build all decked out into my liking. We swapped the powers around. We're feeling really good. Storm doesn't want to play with us for some reason. Um... You're trying to farm more barbers? Yeah, now that is something we are going to be doing for people, and I have to add on there and kind of figure out what a good price range would be, is to uh, to farm the uh, the guy, the Varshan, for, um, for um, Malignant Hearts. And we're slapping so much harder. Storm, you coming or what? August is too hot, James. <laughs> oh, yeah. Let's 
smash mouth. Kadink, kadink. Josh Zombie, how's it going, man? Hey, no worries, Josh. You're here now, though, brother. Don't worry about it. We're not going to get all five on this either. It's okay. For some reason, I can't keep my... Uh... We got the curse shrine done. I couldn't keep my... Um... Fury high enough there. We had already passed it. Bobby G in the house. Let's go, dude. What is up, everybody? Appreciate you guys being here. Thank you guys so much. Dang it, man. You know, sometimes I wish. I wish upon a star. What's this? What, what do we get? What do we get? What is this? Weapon master stuff? Okay. What's this? More fortified stuff? We're getting these, these glyphs upgraded as well tonight, guys. There's a spot later. Can I run? Well, Metro, if you want to come run right now, because Storm's not getting on. So uh, if you want to come run now, man, now is your opportunity. Now is your window. You're at the gym? Okay. No worries then. Uh, Storm, I don't know what you're doing, but I'll invite you one more time. Otherwise, uh, let's see if we can get somebody else in here. Brian or somebody. Oh, you're making dinner, Storm. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. No worries, man. I'm just messing with you. So, yeah, tonight, guys, we are going to be efficient like we were last night. The plan is to get to, uh, we want to get to 95 tonight. That would be a huge, huge one. Um, I don't know how, how possible it's going to be we farmed really good last night and got four levels so i'm hoping that we can do that tonight um however if we are close i will tell you guys right now we will stay on until we're 95 so like if we get into 95 or 94 and we're like 94 in a bar or 94 in like half of the first bar then i think we'll stay on just to hit 95 you know what i mean good luck getting 94 in four hours demon we can do it Believe, man. Just You just got to believe, dude. We are God gamers, okay? We are all God gamers. We can do this. Believe in one another. We can do this. Our community is too strong. Our community is too dang strong, okay? We're at the slow end of leveling. I know, man, but we can do this. I believe it's possible. We just need a fourth. Uh, Goris, what's up, man? You're getting, you're having a terrible time getting conceited in exploiters. Any, uh, any tips? You just need to be farming uh, items as much as possible. So item drop rate is the biggest thing per hour. So you need to not worry about like doing any kind of pushing or anything like that. You need to be doing speeds. Speed, speed, speeds. Mercy's Reach and uh, Older's Cave are two of the best when it comes to items. I prefer Mercy's Reach. So you need to farm Mercy's Reach or another dungeon similar to Mercy's Reach that is going to give you a lot of item drops. That is the goal. It's items drops per hour. Okay, it's the same thing that we talk we talked about like back in D3 when it came to like trying to get particular uh, legendaries and stuff. It's all about item drops per hour. That is the by, by far the most important thing. Are we are we better off having a full time uh having a full team to speed up killing? Uh I don't know. Well, don't, don't we still benefit from having the fourth person in the party for EXP?
Yeah, if we, if we still benefit from having the fourth person in the party, then I think what we do as far as speeding, then what we do is we just need to run like 2-2. Two, two. We'll like split this dungeon 2-2. Two, two. So that way we just get through it much faster. No, XP is flat 5%. Yeah, I thought it was near too, but this is says gain 5% bonus EXP for being near another player. Double this effect if they are in your uh if they are your party member. So it's actually 10%, which means that in a full party that'd be 10% for all three if you were next to each other, which means that's 30%. That'd be a 30% increase. If I'm reading that correctly. Which means that if we're not next to each other, then it's 15%. But if we're running in pairs, see, I'm getting, you're getting it right now. You're getting the 5%. It just says it doubles if you're near a party member. Oh, for being near another player. Okay, yeah, so never mind. And then it doubles if you're in the party together. So it's 10%. So if we run, if we run in pairs of two, then that's an extra 10%. It only counts once. Okay, yeah. So then what we do is we split it in twos. We split it in twos then. Because if we run this dungeon two by two, then... Um, then you would get the extra 10% because you would be near somebody. That's the way to do it. Thanks for the advice. I've been pushing higher and higher levels with a friend. Yeah, so, so yeah, uh, Goris, when it comes to item drop items or trying to get particular gear, pushing a higher, higher, like, nightmare dungeon isn't going to benefit you. It's going to benefit you as far as, like, EXP, but it's not going to benefit you per items unless, or, like, per items per hour, unless you are, like, one or two tapping those monsters. Oh, we got those uh, Doom Treads again. That's cool. Uh, so it, it doesn't necessarily benefit you at all. So then what happens is, is what you need to do is you need to run a Nightmare Dungeon level that you can do very, very quickly. Because it's all about killing the monsters and getting the items to drop as fast as possible. That's the only thing that matters. So you have to sacrifice XP. However, the good thing is that, like, with Mercy's, Mercy's Reach, is that it's actually a really good uh, dungeon for EXP. Surprisingly. Um, if I heard you correctly, running in a duo is better than a full team, right, DT? Well, yeah, because if that thing only counts once then the most XP you can get from that is 10%. Which means that if we, in, in a four-person party, if we split the dungeon and we're running in pairs of two, then Sometimes you're going to get the max bonus, which would be only 10%. So, so, yeah, as long as we're next to at least one other person, then we're good to go. Because if this only happens once, then that makes sense. As long as we're next to one person. Uh, yeah, Miro, you want to come on in? If you start to die, and I'll have to kick you, though, man. Because we can't, we can't take time trying to res you or nothing like that. So as long as you can hang. I found out why barbs are having fury problems. It's because of the barber. Yeah, I'm glad I'm not using it then. Okay, so what we need to do is split this. So, um, Amiro, you need to be running with DT, and me and Demon will run together. That way it's the fastest, so that way we can get through this quick. Because as long as we're next to another player, we get the full 10%. If it only happens once, then that's how it works.
So I wonder if all those times that like we were running like blinds burrows like completely separate like I wonder how much XP we were actually losing out then. You know what I mean? It used to be all players. Oh, it changed in season one. Okay. So yeah, yeah, yeah. That that makes more sense. I don't remember reading that, man. I must have looked over that real quick. I must have really looked over that in the notes. Nice. But we're about to gain some money. I spent three million fixing my gear, guys. For tonight. Oh my god, I love Hulk smashing. The buff used to work for full dungeon, uh like but they changed it within a range. Yeah, I mean as long as we like see, we still run it pretty efficiently in pairs. So So the fury problem on Barb with the barber is a big issue. Is that what you're saying? Right, because like the 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 monsters are immune, right? So I can't deal any damage to them. Which messes stuff up, right? Gotcha. Well, then it's a good thing I'm not running the Barber on this build, then. Or, like, on the Barbarian. I do love Hoda, man. I almost want to put the... I need... I want to find a better sword than the one that I currently have. And, uh... And just rock and just rock the thirty percent increased basic attack speed is what I want to do. Uh, is Hoda Quake on my two handed now? Yes. So what we changed was, we put the Hoda Quake from my gloves at a fifty two percent or a forty two percent to a one hundred percent perfect Hammer of the Quakes, which is the it maxes at fifty, but obviously it's a hundred on a two hand. We moved retribution to my gloves because that's only predicated on my when the monsters are stunned which is most of the time but not every time obviously and then we swapped a new grizzly rage or limitless rage to my two-handed sword for the max bonus there and then we dropped the barrier bonus damage here and put my um rapid back on i do have a max rapid of 30 percent, so i'm just kind of testing this how it is now and hoping i find I want to get a better sword or what I want to do is just get like another hammer because I don't mind running two hammers for the overpower. Um, so, like, I, I don't mind doing that. Um, but I was testing it before, like, I got on today. And... Um, Quake, Quake being on my two-handed weapon feels really good. It definitely feels good. For sure. Um, definitely, definitely, definitely feels good. So, I, I think having the Retribution not on my two-hand is probably the way to go. And just leaving that, like, on my gloves for this build. And now I'm just hoping to find, like, a, a max 20% uh, one. Instead. I mean, the 15% is good, obviously, but, I mean, as you can see, we still we still swing, like, pretty dang good for damage. I need to catch up. Uh, nice. So, but I really wanted the basic attack back on here. Um, so that way I can help proc my, um, to get my bonus of damage while I'm, uh, you know, with my next core skill, which is important. Which I can only get from using a basic attack. And that's up to 
So I wanted to have a higher attack speed. I almost wanted I almost decided to put the max um the the max rapid on my two hand sword and putting limitless rage on like a normal sword, but I was like, nah, because that's sixty percent bonus. That's a big bonus. Cause we fortify like pretty dang easy, so like or is it fortify or is it healing off of limitless rage? I can't is it yeah, each point of fury we generate beyond, which is pretty easy to do. Um, because sixty percent is just too much. That's too big of a bonus. It's uh, it's pretty hard to not to not use it. And since I've made these small changes, my damage consistently feels better. So that's nice. Like, even in groups, it feels better. Now, I really want to put the max um, rapid on my sword. I may even go grab another... Uh, I may even try to go grab another... Um, see, there goes the retribution again. Like, I might even try to go grab... Ooh, oh, my God. Look at this sword. You guys see that sword? Hold on, let me get in here. Let me get in here. Let me get in here. Check out this sword. Vulnerable damage, maxed. Strength, almost maxed. Damage to close enemies, almost maxed. And it just has overpower. We're going to hold on to this bad boy. We're going to hold on to that bad boy. That's a good one. Uh, I'm dropping all gems. I don't want gems right now. Yeah, it's looking good. I'm really, like, Hoda is my favorite build overall, not only in Diablo 4, but in Diablo 3. And for four Barbarian and um, Call of the Ancients again. Uh, so it's, it's really nice to, like, kind of hone in and get this thing being, being pretty strong. So what I'm doing now is I'm just trying to, I'm just like, cause this is quick, get rid of all the junk. So I'm really hoping that I find a stronger rapid. So, um, we'll see, we'll see what happens. <laughs> oh no. Go on. Go see who it is. Yeah, go see who it is. Yeah, I really want the rapid to... I wish I critted more because I would almost want... Oh! DT is 98. Let's go, dude. Congrats on 98, man. DT is going to be the first one in the clan to 100 in Season 1. It's great. Um, <laughs> you can't wait for it when you're playing Necro. It's been my favorite class since playing Diablo. I think I'm going to have a lot more fun than I, I think I'm going to on uh, Necro when uh, we finish our Barbarian. It was our clan's very first hundred, so I decided not to be a hardcore grinder. Hey, demon, I appreciate that, man. You know, maybe let's share the share the love. You know, oh crap, I almost died. Pack 
pass the torch, you know? I'm ready whenever a slot opens. All right, Storm. Sounds good, man. Smashed all of them. Nice. What, um, what malignant hearts am I running? That's crit strike and then knockdown. Okay. So I'm literally looking for a, what would be a good, um, white malignant heart guys, the raffle ones to use on Hoda. wonder what would be good because I have a couple in my stash lunging strike is my shred demon Lunging strike is my shred. Get stunned. Oh my god, get stunned out. And we're still slapping with the changes. I love it. That extra 10% is actually a lot when you really think about it. Yeah, we're hitting much harder now. And yeah, we're hitting much harder. And we're about to gain a lot of ex or a lot of money tonight. I think I'm going to get like to 20 mil tonight. I need to go sell them rings, DT. You got you got to teach me. You got to show me the ways, man. Let me go sell a couple of them rings on there. Yo, uh Jace with the sub to the channel. I appreciate you, man. Like, how long do you put an item up for? Like, 20, 30 minutes, maybe? 20 minutes? Close it. Like, I'm about to be like, yo, give me 50 mil for this ban for this ring. Like, give me them bands, son. And then somebody's going to be like, yo, will you take this for it? And I'm going to be like, nah, cuz. I need this much for it. You know what I mean? Oh, my God. We got another Fist of Fate. Or not another one. We got our first one. <laughs> Second dungeon run of the night, and we got a uh, fist of fate. Let's go. Uh, Ivan, what's up, dude? Welcome to the stream. He goes, how Barb actually feel? Been playing Necro this season and wanted to try out Barb uh, after you reach endgame. Barb feels fine after you get to, to, like, 60. The initial levels are actually pretty tough. I am not going to lie to you there, man. The initial levels are kind of rough. Um, yeah, the, 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 uh, the initial levels are a bit rocky. But, I mean, after you get through those initial levels, like, the leveling process is okay. Um, but endgame barb feels fine. Like, the endgame bar feels fine. So. Um, we have, Ivan, we have, like, four different builds right now on the channel. We're about to do a fifth one with Walking Arsenal. Um, so, there's plenty of builds to play for the Barbarian in the endgame. And from what it looks like everybody is, is suggesting is that Walking Arsenal might be the best end game build for barbarian i don't know we're not going to do whirlwind just because whirlwind is whirlwind but um we are going to do walking arsenal next and uh 
We're we're gonna see how it goes. How'd you like the walking? Dude, that that thing was awesome, Demon. That thing was awesome. So we we're we're gonna put it together, but we're not gonna do it until after we hit a hundred. I don't think. I'm not gonna do like an early end game build now since I'm in the 90s. So I think we're all done with that. I think I'm just gonna do like a pure end game walking arsenal build, which will be pretty fun. Uh, leveling in a vacuum feels okay. I mean, in a vacuum, it feels okay. I mean, again, like, some classes still have it a lot easier and a lot faster. Like, Barb, like, if I wasn't playing in a group at the start of the season, like, I probably would not be at 91 right now. That probably would not be happening. Just because of how much slower Barbarian is when it comes to that, but... I just crit for 12 million. But I mean leveling leveling is isn't bad. It's it's not it's definitely not the worst. I mean it's worse than before, but it's still semi okay. I mean on the 8th we're going to get the changes to uh leveling after 50 is going to be better they said. I don't know how they're going to change that, but uh, double swing Hoda, Whirlwind, uh, you got Rend, you have, uh, uh, Rupture, you got the, all, the alternate Rend, which is the, um, what is it, the bloody, um, nice, nice, which is the bloody, uh, Maelstrom, you got that version of the build, which is actually really cool. So there's there's a lot of there's a lot of builds that you can play. Um, K4, F3X1. He asks, "What build do you recommend going from 60 to 100 as a solo player?" Um, what I would suggest is double swing is good. Hoda is good. Whirlwind is super strong. Walking Arsenal is very strong. Any of those are really good. Um, I'd probably. Like, Rend and stuff is okay, but I think the other builds are just better. Um, walking our... Uh, the Bloody Maelstrom build with Rend seems really good if you can get enough cooldown uh, for an endgame solo player, but I'd probably pick Whirlwind, Hoda, Walking Arsenal, or Double Swing. Those would be my... my choices for you. Uh, yes, yes. It, it should make the Barb feel slightly stronger. Um, they buff some really good abilities for Barbarian. The biggest things out of Barb that uh, is good is the, the increase in resource generation for a lot of the skills is very strong. And then some, some changes to some of the abilities are good. Um, ooh, another Surat Slayer. Nice. So it should, it should help. Greetings. It should help. Should help. That's a good hammer. And we got to get these glyphs leveled up. Um, Cameron, what's up, dude? Welcome back. He said, I'm a level 53 solo rogue player. Currently in world tier three. What's the best EXP rates for me to do? The best EXP race to you, for you to do in World Tier 3 is to do Nightmare Dungeons. You need to be doing Surats like we're doing right now. Or you need to do... Um, you, need? you need to be doing Surats. You need to be doing uh, Mercy's Reach. You need to be doing Olders. You need to be doing... Um, let's see. What's the, what's the other one? There's one more I'm missing. There's one more I'm missing. Crap. There's one more I'm missing. K4 
Can't remember. Oh, yeah, Dead Man's. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you. That's the other one. So you need to be farming one of those dungeons as efficiently as possible. And by efficiently, what I mean is you can take a timer out. You're a rogue, so even at, at what level are you? 50-something? 50 54? You should be able to do these very, very quickly. You need to be running the dungeon and, like, I don't know, solo. You need to be running the dungeon in, like, sub 10 minutes, sub 7 minutes. And what I mean by that is you need to be doing it just not killing everything. You just need to, oh, crap. You just need to run through and kill the large packs, Greetings. the large mob packs. And then you need to... Uh, only kill the large packs, elites, and do the objectives to get to the end, and then rinse and repeat. That is the only way to do it. If you're killing, like, little tiny, like, ads and stuff that are just kind of just chilling. Like, these three, like, those three that we just killed. I mean, if you can kill them along the way, then that's fine. But you only want to be killing large mobs or elites. And then do the objectives at whatever dungeon that you're doing to unlock fighting the boss. And then that's it. And then rinse and repeat the dungeon until you get to whatever desired level that you want to be at. Uh, for the Nightmare level, it doesn't benefit you as a solo player to do a Nightmare dungeon 10 levels higher than you. Unless your build is so insane you're killing things incredibly fast. What I would suggest is to do nothing higher than three tiers above your level. And the reason for this is to value speed. You want to be able to value speed when you're doing the dungeon. Okay? That's just like us. This is a tier 45. And the only reason that we're doing a tier 45 is because of how fast we can actually do a, do this dungeon as a group. Because as solo players, we can obviously do much higher uh, level dungeons. And we could even do a much higher level dungeon as a group. But we want to go for efficiency. So right now, these monsters are what? 100 in... Or they're 99s. So right now, they're only 8 levels higher than us. So we're not getting the 100% max EXP that we can get. However, because we're doing it so fast and so efficient, it allows us to be able to do this multiple times per hour to maximize how much EXP that we actually gain. Yo, Ali, what's up? Ken, what's going on, guys? How's it going? Yeah, no problem, Cameron. And, and because you're a rogue, you should be very fast at, you know, doing whatever you're doing. Um, especially as a solo player. So that, that would be my huge suggestion to you. Like, that would be my... Did I pass it? No, you passed it to me already, right? Okay. Wow, I got three Legos to drop right here? Holy crap. Pretty sure you passed... Yeah, D he, DT passed it at the beginning. Hello. Nice. Yes, sir. So you, you want to value speed. You want to value speed. Value, value, value speed. Dead Man's is good. I think for a solo player, though, what I would, if I had to pick out of all the ones, like I would run probably Mercy's Reach as a solo rogue. That one would be really good. Surratt's is really good too, but I would definitely try to run like Mercy's Reach seems really good. God, I just cannot get a good amulet, man. Oh, we got a really strong mace here. But all of the affixes suck. Dang, look at these pants. These pants are good. They're okay. But yeah, back to what I was saying. Speaking of which, since I just found an accelerating. Um, another 14% retribution stun. Don't care. Uh, what's this? That's uh, only plus two. That's another ring that sucks. Okay. So, uh, but yeah, like, like I was saying, the, um, 
I really wish I critted more on this build because I think the accelerating would be better. Um, I'm just going to catch up. Maximize that XP, man. So, I mean, yeah. Yep. I like Mercy's over Olders. That's just me, though. It's just so direct and so easy to do. Oh, looks like I'm with... Yeah, I'm with Demon. Okay, cool. Oh, boy. Everybody get stunned and take millions of damage, you little bitches. Uh, yo, Ivan with the sub, man. I appreciate you, dude. Thank you. If I crit this much, I wonder if accelerating would be better than the rapid. What do you guys think? Do you think accelerating would be better than rapid? Because what's Accelerating's thing? It's only for five seconds, right? Accelerating gives me attack speed for five seconds. Hmm. But that would be... That would be attack speed on my hammer too, right? And then the more crits I have on that... Maybe Accelerating is the way to go, chat. Maybe I'll try the Accelerating over the basic attack speed increase. Because, like, I still see all these yellow numbers when I'm critting like that. So... Right, because white is normal damage, yellow is crit, orange is over power. What's blue? Blue is over power. Okay, so what's orange then? Orange is crit plus overpower. Okay. Gosh, dude. Okay, so all the yellow is yeah, because I know I know that yellow is normal crit and then white is normal damage. So I'm getting a lot of crits here. So I wonder if accelerating would actually be really strong on this build. I feel like accelerating would be really good. I'm critting a lot then. Even though it's like not like max crits, I'm critting a lot. I wonder if that would be better. Because 20, like 24, 25% attack speed increase for 5 seconds. Every single time I crit, which is pretty often if you see it right here like this. Like, I don't know, guys. What do y'all think? Should we try it? We should test it, huh? I kind of want to try it. Be back later. Uh, okay, Metro, see you in a bit, man. Greetings. Uh, DT, you passed it to me already, right? I keep forgetting. You passed it so early that I forget sometimes. Woo, we almost messed that up. That was close. That was close. Uh, that was a close one. <laughs> that was a close one we're gonna get these uh glyphs upgraded too uh nuga what's up man welcome back uh he goes hey war uh you did the world tier 4 capstone during yesterday at 63 not sure how or what to do now i tried a t21 nightmare but i failed the elites slapped me um, you should be with being that low, 
Uh, I would do the minimal that you can do for Nightmare Dungeons at World Tier 4. Is what I would suggest. Because you're already under leveled, and then those those sigils are already going to be already much stronger. You can take butcher, you can't take poison. War, if you had to rank the Diablo games, where would I, where would I rank them? <clears throat> uh, Diablo two, Diablo uh, D two R. After that, um, I would probably say three, and then what I would say is is probably uh, then four, only because of the current state of the game, which is pretty crappy. So, yeah, that's what I would say. Um, I'm going to throw this on here, guys, and just try this real quick. I'm coming. I just want to I want to test accelerating real quick and just see. If it's, uh, we're going to put it on this instead of basic, we got accelerating. Now let's try it. Ice shield is open versus butcher. Uh, tree dungeons always work. <clears throat> um, I would form like normal dungeons. Hell tides are very strong. Oh, oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, accelerating is so much better. Oh my god, accelerating is so much better. Everybody gets stunned and frozen. You all suck. All right. Okay, accelerating is way better. I'm looking Ooh, that's a purple one. I need to I need to see if I can get that. Oh, yeah, that's true. Yeah, yeah. If you're underleveled, you're not going to be able to handle Hell Tides. That's true. Oh, man. Accelerating is really strong. Ooh. Oh, my God. So, let's see. If it's... Um, what's this one? Deal fire damage to run it whenever a crowd control effect is removed from you. I don't know if that's good. See, <clears throat> see, chat, this is where like things go crazy. So, accelerating is really good here. So, now I almost want to swap out edge masters and put edge masters here at 20% and then put a so if it's 24%, that'd be 12. So this is be a 36% increased attack speed. Mm, God, it gets my head going, man. Uh, tree dungeons are very good. Uh, Demon, tell me what, it, what, what do you need to get on your rings? Because I remember I'm still finding some good ones. Oh my god, what the heck? You need crit, vulnerable damage, crit chance, and then what's the last one? You could probably do... You could probably do like close damage or uh, lucky, lucky hit, okay. Yeah, yeah. Accelerating is 100% better. However, it's only going to be temporary because as soon as we have... Uh, as soon as the changes come to... Um, come to uh, <clears throat> our pants. Temetry, it's not going to... It's not going to matter. Uh, just found a tier one dead man's. There you go. Farm that sucker, man. Uh, you could wait, though, too, Cameron. Because if you're low level, then that's a what? That's a 70. That's a 71. 
Or is that a 72? Something like that. Yeah, I like accelerating on this build. Accelerating so good. Hell ties would be 75 ish. I mean, if you can do hell ties, like that's that's good. Hell ties are a great way to level up and just get resources that you're gonna need. But if you're not able to do hell ties, then I definitely don't recommend doing them. Warlock is destroying everything with Hoda. That attack speed is so good because it's like. It's basically a permanent 25% attack speed increase because you see all the yellow numbers. So like I'm always critting. I'm like always critting. Uh, hell tides are always two to level levels are higher. Yep. That is true. New axe. Uh, let me scroll back up. Uh, Inspector Todd. What's up, dude? Welcome to the stream. He goes, I'm running your bleed build now. I'm 58. It's pretty fun. Is Hoda better? Hoda overall is better than that. Um, rend build or even, um, bloody maelstrom. However, like both of those builds are really good and they're going to be much better after the um, August 8th patch. So. We got to get Storm in here. Yeah, we got to get Storm in here. Yeah, accelerating is so good. I feel accelerating just feels good. That extra 25% on on the attack speed there just feels really good for this. Yeah, that feels real strong. Uh, am I going to make a spreadsheet of rings you have? Rings and sword? Am I going to make a spreadsheet for him? What do you mean? You mean of like the stat priorities, Def? Okay. I was kind of stuck there for a second. Oh, of what I'm selling? Oh, I have no idea. I got I got to look at them, but um, I could just like showcase them and show them. I don't think I'm gonna like do a spreadsheet or anything. Uh, do you have some gold? Do you need some, do you need one? You gain a 14% barrier generation. I am getting a ton of drops. This is true. I got a bunch of rings in my inventory too, man. Farming gold. Gotcha, gotcha. Now here's the thing, Def. I mean, a lot of these, a lot of these items are going to be very expensive. So I don't know if you would want to try to get one from me, because I like I'm going to be able to sell some of these items for like upwards of fifty to a hundred million per item and people are going to pay for them. So I don't know if you, if you like necessarily want to try to save up for one of the items. I mean, I might be able to just hook you up with one or something, but, but obviously I got to make my nut first on uh, the, the discord, but Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. we're getting jumped here. Hoda 
is real good. I'm stuck. Yeah, man, that extra 24% just makes makes like actually like swinging Hoda just feel better. Feels better. Now, I'm not going to sell all the rings death. Like if I can get if I can sell two rings, two of those rings each for like 50 million a piece and have 100 million gold, then that would be more than fine and I can just like help some people out on the rest. Uh, what what are you looking for on your swords? I'll I'll definitely keep a lookout for you. I'll just put that in there for now. Screw it. Okay, Storm, you ready? Oh. Vulnerable crit. Chance crit damage standard. Oh, twisting blade stuff. Okay, I got you, man. I will definitely be on the lookout for you on swords then. I can definitely do that for you. Hmm. Boy, that felt good. <laughs> What's left, you ask? Boy, that felt good. All right, we're ninety two, guys. We're only an hour in. Like I said, if if we're if we're 94 in change, then I will stay on for up to an extra hour to get to 95 tonight. That is a guarantee, especially since tomorrow's my Friday. I will 100% stay on an extra hour just to achieve that goal. I'm going to have to update my planner, man. Accelerating seems way too good. <laughs> Eat that damage reduction. Now we're now we're feeling good. We're cooking now. Oh, we're cooking. Which build is better, Whirlwind or Hoda? Fifty to a hundred. Carson Johnson, welcome to the stream. I think overall Whirlwind is still better, but slightly. I think Whirlwind is still the better build. Pretty sure uh, Whirlwind is still slightly better. Especially when you consider like 50 to 100 if you're um, talking about speed. Because obviously Whirlwind is a lot faster than Hoda. Even with shouts and stuff because you're spinning, right? And you don't have to take the time to stop to slam your hammer. So like Whirlwind is still probably better. Overall. Tuan, what's up, dude? You got the Oculus one today? Nice, man. God, that pull is so good. Oh, 
Oh, man, you guys already finished it. Dang. Boy, we're fat. Oh, I should have waited. Dang, I should have waited. Ooh, now, chat, this amulet is not bad. But we don't have fury or the cooldown. Uh, Def, I'm assuming on your rogue, you don't care if it's a scythe or a normal, like, sword. You just, it just needs to be a sword type, right? Man, I keep getting a lot of those, um... Michael, what's up, man? Welcome to the stream. He goes, how about Rend Rupture versus Whirlwind and Hoda as far as speed? Oh, Whirlwind and Hoda are much faster than Rend. Much faster, Michael. Uh, way faster than Rupture and uh, uh, a little bit faster than Rend. I'd probably say a lot faster than Rend. Yeah. Like, both of those builds are really good. Um, but as far as speed, they're not they're not the best. All right, I appreciate it, man. Debating on which build, because I wanted to do preseason, uh, did Hoda. Yeah, if you've already done Hoda, Carson, like, and you have never played Whirlwind, go play Whirlwind, man. Whirlwind, spin to win is always fun. It's real easy to play. See some steel unique. I'll keep my definitely, on. definitely go play it, man. Um, I just, to me, Carson, I prefer Hoda better. I actually really enjoy Double Swing as well. Double Swing is really, really... Really fun and strong. Yep, I'm going to have to update my planner. Because accelerating is real strong. Sometimes I feel like I get like a... A no rag, man, on my slams. Yes, guys, if you guys are enjoying the stream, make sure to drop a like on the stream, guys. Appreciate it. And if you guys are interested in seeing any of my current builds that I have out, um, not only with Barbarian, but other builds, type exclamation point Hoda in the chat, and it'll bring up our page with all of my builds that I currently have. Um, there's still a lot more that I need to add, and we will be adding a lot of Necro and Rogue ones. Uh, to it as well, but it's over there on Mobilytics, who we are currently partnered with. So please go check those out. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna try it out. Yeah, yeah, Hoda's really strong, dude. If you if you enjoy Hoda, Carson, then you would probably really like Double Swing. Because my double swing build that I have is, it's very close to being a perma stun. And if you're playing solo, the crowd control effects that are on that build, you can get enemies stunned for like upwards of like eight seconds. It's actually kind of silly. It's actually like kind of silly, like on that how how much or how long we can get enemies to be stunned. And not only, like, be stunned, but um, your challenging shout damage reduction, because that is a an effect on that. Like, it actually lasts for a lot longer than eight seconds. It's actually kind of silly. The build's real good. I actually really enjoy Double Swing. The only thing that I think, and I think a lot of people agree with me, is Double Swing has a huge lack of AoE damage. You can group enemies up really well to to be able to hit them all at once, but it doesn't have the uh, ooh mercy's reach. It doesn't have the AOE effects of like of Hoda or Whirlwind, let's say. Oh, what did we just get? Ancient's Oath Steel Grafts launches two additional chains. Nice and ooh and a max roll on that too. Oh, and a max uh, ranks of steel on there. Dang. Okay. 
I like that. How I got your boy. Yeah, Carson, if you're primary solo, like you can you can do any of those builds, right? Solo, but if you want to do like strictly speed, then you have to get off of bleed. Which sucks, but I mean any of those builds, like even double swing is very strong solo. Like it's very strong solo. Very, very strong. Can't wait for the new patch. Yeah, yeah. Uh, what is it? Seen in? Pre Welcome to the stream. He says, can you show us your equipment? I have a build video out for this, but I'll go through it real quick just so you can see. It's pretty strong. Pretty, pretty strong. I need another bold chieftain, man. I just, it just, I cannot find one to save my hiney, which kind of sucks. Not find one to save my hiney. I think I'm going to change the bone spear to minion build. I mean, I don't know, man. I don't think it, I don't think the minions are still even currently with the buff can't work without the ring. However, if you do have of uh, the barber, then the minion build works. Because I just saw today that somebody cleared a Nightmare Dungeon Tier 100 with just a minion build. Uh, and I was like, holy crap, how is that possible? And then they were like, oh, and we're and they were rocking the barber. I'm like, oh, okay, well, that makes sense. I feel like pretty much any build could clear Nightmare Dungeon 100s if you're using the barber. But that's just a generalization of that. Yeah, so I was like, wait a second. A pure nightmare or a pure, uh, like a pure, a pure minion build cleared the, uh, Nightmare Dungeon with level 100. And they were like, yep, and our malignant heart is the barber. I'm like, oh, okay. That makes sense. Uh, now, I don't know if I should get crit chance or lucky hit. Let's see. Uh, for it, well, the, I guess the question is, Demon, is that for the shred build? If it's for the shred build without, without the waxing gibbous, then crit chance. Shred and or NATO. Uh, if you if it's for NATO, then you don't need crit chance. I would take the lucky hit instead. But if it's for if it's for shred, you take the crit chance for sure. Uh, the barber. <laughs> How many people have gotten the new spear this season? I don't know. I don't know, to be honest. Uh, what is the best whirlwind uh, build, mace or sword? Uh, it's always uh, sword, I believe. You're always going to do sword. Because of the crit chance. You're not necessarily overpowering, overpowering in that build. So always sword. How do you get the barber uh, seen in? It's a it's a ultra it's not an ultra rare, but it's a um, it's a rare drop. It is a rare, rare, rare drop. I just got mine two days ago. I don't have it on anything, uh, and it's just like I don't know where to put it. But um, we do have it. So there's a few ways you can farm for it. The overall best way is to um, the overall best way is to farm the um, the quest line. So finish the quest line and then come over here and do uh, where is it? Right here, 
is do the Ravening Pit and farm the um, Echo of Varshan and World Tier 4 is the best way to really do it. Dang, we just smashed all of them dudes. Uh, we also haven't farmed hearts. Yeah, we haven't farmed hearts either, guys. I have a video on my channel if you guys are interested in farming hearts. Wow. What the heck just happened? <laughs> um, to farm hearts, guys. It's doing the continuation of the story. You finish the main story quest line, and then you do... Uh, and then you do the Echoes of Arshan farming. That is by far the best way to get hearts. And not only that, it gives you level 800 um, equipment if you're in World Tier 4. So, we haven't done that yet. We're probably going to do that at some point, guys, just for a video. Um, we already have, like, the of how to get to that process, but we just haven't farmed any. But that is by far the best way. Um, however, if you don't if you don't have that stuff completed yet, what you could do to try to farm the hearts is go on your map. And go to any of the dungeons that have the green, this green uh, leaf on there. Because that's the malignant tunnels. And inside there you have a chance to get, um, or not a chance, but you have better opportunities to get malignant hearts in there. So you could just go from dungeon to dungeon farming those if you really wanted to. So that's that's what I would do. Um, but I would tell you to finish the main quest line first. 100%. A Sabre? I got a Sabre, guys. Brian, what's up, dude? How's it going, man? Welcome to the stream. How are you, brother? Oh, uh, we got another audacity here for three seconds. This is for two seconds, so we can probably just add that on there. It's one second better, so that's nice. Uh, let's see. Euphoria, what's up? Welcome to the stream. You already asked me that. Um, we also haven't farmed hearts either. Uh, how soon do you think Echo Lilith carries will happen to hit 100? I'm pretty sure they changed it to where you can't do it in groups anymore. Oh, nice. You got, uh, you got li the Lilith wall. Nice. That, that, um, like the gear piece looks really good. Yeah, as far as I know, you can't um, you can't do carries anymore. Or wait, no, 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 hold on, hold on. I think you can carry people through. I think you can carry people through the Echo of Lilith, but they just don't get the. Uh, they don't get the. Um, God, is it the mount? There's one item they don't get. I can't remember which one it is. Crap. Uh, Rob made a video. There's a glitch. You can always get malignant hearts. Oh, damn. Yeah, now here's the thing. I I'm not for sure. Uh, Twan in, um, in season one. I do remember them changing it. So from what I remember is, is that you... You used to be able to farm or like carry somebody through and they got all the rewards. Then I guess what they did was is they changed that. And you can carry somebody through, and then what they did was is they took the – they either removed you getting the mount or they removed you getting the title, which are the two main rewards that you get from defeating Lilith. I can't remember which one they took away, but they took away one of those if you didn't complete Lilith solo. I can't remember. And then I could have swore that in the patch notes they – they changed it to where you, you can't carry anybody through Lilith at all. But I'd have to double check on that. 
you don't get the titles. Okay, yeah, yeah. See, so that's what it was. So you still get the mount, which I think is that's what people care about more than the titles. Um, but you can't get all the rewards unless you kill her solo. But again, I don't think that matters. I think most people just care about the mount. Um, now that was pre season one. That was pre season one. So I don't know if, if that was changed or not again. But if it hasn't changed, then yes, 100% we will do uh, Lilith carries for sure. We'll probably end up doing it on Necro unless I can do it with Barb somehow. I think I can do it with Barb Walking Arsenal. But, um, but yeah. Another dead man's dredge? Holy crap. Um, I gotta get to this corner. We messed up the split. Uh, this infamous is the most OP thing I've ever played. Oh good, this is just an event. Awesome. Part of me wants to have that flat 36%, man. Instead of retribution on here. Or, uh, whichever one it is. Uh, how long does it take for you to level up right now? Um, right now, it's about an hour a level. Um, it'll probably increase, you know, five or ten minutes as we continue to level up. Um, but from 91 to 92, it took us an hour. So, we're going to, right now, uh, we're, what, 20 minutes into the, the next hour? And I am almost halfway. So... Obviously, that's going to change as we continue to gain levels because, it, you know, it's more XP to gain those levels. But, um, yeah. Oh, Death by Toaster. What's up, dude? How's it going, man? Welcome to the stream. Uh, no, I'm not going to get to 100 tonight. The goal is to get to 100 by the end of Wednesday. So, my goal tonight is to get to 95. Tonight is the goal. 95 is the goal for tonight. This is pretty good. That's not bad. Uh, where did I, did I see your last comment? No, let me uh, go back. Uh, it's yeah, it is really good, Brian. It's an awesome piece of gear. Uh, new axe war. What's the best way to farm silver ore? <clears throat> the best way overall to farm silver ore is hell tides. Hell tides have a lot of those little ore things, a lot of those ore things, which is really good because you can only really do it in the open world. And then what I would tell you on top of that, um, new axe is salvage. Absolutely everything. You gotta salvage it, man. <clears throat> um, another really good way to get silver ore uh, outside of that is you go to the the, the alchemist and you um, you do the material trade to get them. Now it kind of sucks because you end up trading uh, you end up getting ready iron trunks chunks to make silver ore. But it kind of sucks because silver ore is rare metal used. It's found in veins everywhere. So it's really the only way to do it. So I, the iron chunks, the, the like little things you can do. So the best place is hell tides for sure. I get a lot of those when I farm hell tides. Um, <clears throat> or you can just keep running around in the world. <laughs> Which kind of sucks, but. Um, you can also farm, <clears throat> far, uh, or not farm, but you could salvage blue items. Blue items are a, a pretty pretty good way to get um, chunks uh, or silver ore. Excuse me. 
<clears throat> I wasted that. Uh, do you guys still do Legion events? <clears throat> I love Legion events. We just haven't done them. Um, they're, they're very good to get items. They're very, very quick and efficient. So um, we, we should maybe keep those in the rotation uh, because I treat those like uh, as like world boss fights. Treat those like world boss fights because they're quick, man, and, mo and people love them. I enjoy them a lot, too. They're very fast. And they're definitely worth it if you complete it. I mean, three chests for the the obols, then you get good gear. You know, you get all those things. Like, there's a lot. There's a lot of good benefits to doing Legion events. Yeah, I think that sword is pretty solid for him. Can you upgrade your potion, by the way? Yeah, I still need to do my level 90. I just don't have, um, I don't have, uh, what is it? I, I just spent all of my resource on it, uh, to get my level 80 or whatever. I don't have, uh, I, ha I have no blight shade. <laughs> I have no blight shade. <laughs> Ooh, one more and our glyph is leveled. Ooh, another Surat's Lair. Always got to take those. Uh, how do you make an enemy vulnerable? Fed, what's going on, man? Um, the exploit glyph is the main way I make people vulnerable. It is, it is the main way. Oh, uh, no, you're good. You're good seeing. You're fine, man. Don't you worry about it, brother. It is all good. Getting mad crit, crit strike damage. World boss in 29 minutes. Perfect. I think I have a sword for you, Death. I think you might like it. It's pretty solid. It's not the best sword, but I think it will do pretty good. Uh, let's see. You're level 49. What do you recommend to do to level up? 49, are you in world tier 3? Yes or no? Robbie. Welcome to the stream, by the way. If you're not world tier three and you're still in world tier two, resetting and farming um, strongholds is still the best. Um, if you are in world tier three, then you need to be farming nightmare dungeons. Like ASAP. Like do two tree of whispers. Get your sigil and start farming. That's what I would say. Another good option, if you are in World Tier 3, you could also be farming the... I guess you could be farming Tree of Whispers. Because Tree of Whispers gives you a lot of XP. Um... Might need to pass, DT.
Yeah, no problem. Appreciate Hey, he said great content. Thank it's you, man. I can help you get World Tier 3. Yes, man. Reach out to our community members. Everybody is willing to help for sure. Another Limitless Rage. That's not bad. Ooh, all right. Exploit maxed. Let's grab... That, that, that point doesn't change, right? I think we do Territorial next. Yeah. You upgrade your gear at the Blacksmith too much? <laughs> I feel you on that, dude. I feel you on that, bro. <laughs> I still think sometimes it does take um, too long to level. I do think that sometimes. Hopefully with the new changes... Um, we're gonna see. We're gonna see how long it actually does take um, to level people up, or just level up in general. Oh wait, demon! You said yeah, that one doesn't work for you. That one also doesn't work for you. Never mind. Um, yeah, no problem. Because we're because we're obviously gonna be level one hundred, and then we're gonna power level a new character. Before the the patch update, so we're gonna we're gonna really see how how long it takes. We're gonna see how long it takes. They nerfed the XP level cap. Yeah, it's bad right now. They have not revealed what the the new exp, like EXP changes are going to be. They just said it is going to be easier to level up in the 50 to 100 range is what is what they said. So that is what you said. Uh, do you cap your Paragon points? When do you cap your character level? Character level is 100. Paragon points are capped at as soon as you reach level 100 because you gain four Paragon points per level. So you end up finishing with max renown at like 228 points of Paragon points. Which is kind of insane. Thirty to fifty is a slow grind. Run, uh, I mean that's way faster than uh, when you get to the later stages of the game. One to fifty guys, even with the changes, is still pretty quick. If it's slow, then I will tell you that you're probably just not farming efficiently. If you're like trying to get to fifty. Clamp, what's up? Well, in a group, it's fast. Uh, group XP is always faster, or at least doing a duo is much faster than solo. 
However, there's still some really good benefits to, to doing it solo. Um, But yeah, group XP is always faster. Hey, we got another accelerating. That's nice. Uh, chain of Berserk Ripping. This one's actually good with cooldown and damage reduction. Oh, no, it's not actually that great. Actually, never mind. Another Skull Breakers. Okay. Well. Uh, have I done any PvP yet? No. I've only done PvP as far as to, like, do some of the achievements that you needed for your... Uh, for, um... Your, uh... Seasonal journey. Now, we will at some point be doing more PvP because I want to get the 100,000 shards. So then that way I can get the mount. Because that seems really cool. So I definitely want to do that. Yeah, yeah, smash, demon. You can just sit at the, at the beginning. It's fine. i uh, kind of nervous about the density change. Oh, I love it. Because you got to think, man, like, Hell Ties are probably the best thing that's in the game for Diablo as, as like, a content piece. Like, Nightmare Dungeons are be are good, but um, the change is good for both Hell Ties since they only come once, you know, every other hour. And then it's more importantly good for Nightmare Dungeons because this is the end game. Like, Nightmare Dungeons are, like, the main part of the end game. So, and then you got to think about it like this. Like, doing Hell Ties and Nightmare Dungeons now gives you even more XP because the monster density has been increased. Which is very, very important. Because the more monsters you kill, the more EXP you get. With cold enchantment being removed, it will help. Yeah, cold's being removed, backstabbers are being removed, and uh, what was the other one? Cold, backstabbing, and uh, there's one more. Can't remember what. Uh, resource burn, yep. Yeah, thank you, thank you, thank you. Resource burn is the last one, yep. Nice. Royal, what's up, dude? Welcome back. I thought it was just a rumor. What was just a rumor? Carson, are you supposed to barely get any cinders in Helltide? Takes me like 40 minutes to get the mystery chest. That's way too long, dude. Carson, in 40 minutes, I can get uh, almost all four mystery chests. So yeah, man, you're just not farming efficiently, dude. You gotta you gotta go back and forth between the. Uh, you got to go back and forth between the events. Do the events inside the Hell Tides. Always do the events. The events are where you get a crap ton of cinders. And then you need to be utilizing your horse every single time. When you're traveling from spot to spot, you use your horse. You need to get off your horse at every little group. Or not every small group, but like nice size mobs. You need to just hop off. And kill them whenever you see uh, one or two elites. You need to get off and kill those. Uh, yeah, they're taking away resource burn. Yep, they're taking away cold, resource burn, and backstabbers. 
Cold, recess, resource burn, backstabbers. Uh, yeah, those are the three. Uh, yeah, yeah. You just got to farm efficiently. Like, you need to just kill every single mob that you can. Like, get on your horse. Travel to a mob pack. Kill them. Your horse should be reset if you hop off. And when I mean hop off, you do a normal hop off. Don't do the whole, like, attack hop off where it does a whole animation and stuff. Like, don't do that. Just hop off and just start killing them. And then you need to do the events. Do the events. A lot of players travel back and forth to events in the Helltides. They often, like, TP out and TP back in just to reset them. So on whatever map that you're on, you need to go to lar the large open areas, which you think would be, really, be good for events. And sometimes, like, the smaller areas have them, but, like, typically the bigger areas, the bigger open, like, squares or circles have events. And then like once you do that a couple times, you'll 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 like memorize like where that where those are. And you will you'll just travel back and forth between them. Because even though they're at 250, man, like in 40 minutes I can get three mystery chests. And that's with or without a group. Now, I will say you do farm them much faster if you are in a group. So if you are playing solo, then what I would tell you to do is when you're in the hell ties and you're trying to farm for cinders if you come across one two or a group just stick with them like literally just stick with them just follow them and sometimes they that may cause you to not pick up every single cinder but if you're traveling with that pack then you should be able to get a lot of cinders that's what i would tell you to do and a lot of players, because they go back and forth between the events, it resets them because based on their instances. So you're going to be able to do events a lot more often in Helltides, which give you more obols, which give you more resources, and gives you a lot of cinders. So you're getting like a triple, like a triple thing there. DT's 99. Let's go, DT. Of course, he's vampiric, and I'm having trouble with this guy. can't kill him he's vampiric man a hundred cinders in 43 minutes yep yeah so like because you can get four four chests typically so you should be able to get all four, 100%. You should be able to get all four instances of the chests, all of them. You should be able to get all four. Another quake. Now the old one, the old way, 175. Oh my gosh, man. You'd be able, you'd be able to, uh, you'd be able to get all four and do like four or five other normal chests easy. Like, like super easy. Now it's a little bit harder, but I will tell you that even with even with the changes to cinders, like like what's going to be happening with cinders, like it's or not not cinders, but the mob density in hell tides, like it's going to make hell tides even better, and hell tides are going to be probably one of the best pieces of content that Diablo Four will ha will be providing us. Because I already enjoy them, and they're best overall. Like, they're just the best overall. They're literally the best overall thing that you can do in the game. 
because you get a crap ton of resources, you get a lot of ovals, you're getting like crazy gear, and um, you know, it's just like the only thing that you're not getting is leveling up, uh, is leveling up your um glyphs, but that's it. Me, you, and we're all, we're all going Necro next? Sweet, dude. That's actually really good. Because then what we can do is we can all trade gear between each other. Alright, we're at 743 or 744, guys. We are almost to 93. So if we get to if we get to 93 before 8 o'clock, then we got another level under an hour which is pretty good because we started this one at 701 so this is what like farming efficiently that we're doing you notice how we're like not spending a lot of time in in towns we're not doing any of that which i guess you know what we could make a video on that i can get towards the end of this and we can do a video on that it's actually a cool idea <laughs> Infamous is terrible. Don't play it. I'm secretly a necromane. <laughs> oh yeah, we're gaining. We're gaining some levels now. Did, uh, DT, did you pass? I think you passed it to me, right? Don't remember. Okay. Alright, cool. I think the last one's over here by me, guys. So you want to farm EXP efficiently in Diablo 4 inside Season 1, even though we got the EXP changes from that horrible, horrible patch. Well, in this video, I'm going to teach you and show you the, or at least my techniques and the ways I like to farm EXP efficiently, especially using Nightmare Dungeons inside of Diablo, okay? This is going to be similar to back in our Diablo 3 video when it comes to farming everything very, very efficiently inside the game where you're not doing anything else this is our d4 equivalent of town is lava so when it comes to farming i'm in my group here and we're farming sarat's lair which is arguably one of the best uh one of the best dungeons to farm for exp in the current meta or the current game so the idea here is all about efficiency okay we are trying to be as efficient as possible when it comes to farming these dungeons okay we want to be as efficient as we possibly can now well what do i mean by efficiently okay now this these these tips are going to be applying to anybody who is doing this in a group especially or even a solo player so as you can see we're like leaving the party we're going to regroup back up and we're going to go in and do this dungeon okay nightmare dungeons by far are the best way to gain the maximum amount of xp now there is one caveat to that. The current EXP changes for Diablo 4, if you guys aren't aware, is instead of fighting monsters three levels higher than you to get the maximum XP, it is now 10 levels higher than you to get the maximum XP. Okay? So that maximum X XP is another 15%. And that XP uh, is very, very good. However, if you're not able to get that, that is okay. When it comes to speed and efficiency, we want to be fast. So I would suggest to you to not worry about that and only do th up to three levels higher than you just to speed through the dungeon. So as you guys can see, like I just did in town, I only spent about 10 seconds going to town to salvage that to clear out my inventory. I am holding on to a lot of stuff here, which I typically wouldn't do because you would want to fill this up to get either money or get um, salvaging items. So just like we did back in D3, we're going to be farming the dungeon, which is the equivalent of doing speed rifts 
inside of Diablo 3. The whole idea here is to go through and complete whatever objectives uh, that you need to do to complete the dungeon the fastest. On top of that, the next tip is to only fight the larger mobs. Okay, small little drifting monsters that are just kind of hanging back that is only three to four monsters. You just ignore those completely. And we want to move from mob to mob. Inside of Diablo 4, the, uh, the density of the monster groups are going to be increased. So it's going to be a lot better for just smoothly, efficiently farming through these dungeons. However, until then, you want to move and just do nice size packs of mobs only do the elites and then only complete the objectives to get through the dungeon the fastest and then if there is a boss you're going to kill the boss now how do we keep farming these with uh, these dungeons and resetting them so that way we don't have to worry about uh going out picking a new sigil and then going through and having to travel to that one even though we do have the instant travel that still is going to take a lot of time, which is going to delay us even more when we're talking about EXP per hour. So if you are in a group, you can just pass the priority leader, like DT will pass it to me. And then I'm the leader. And then once we complete the dungeon and upgrade our glyphs, then I will leave first. So that's the way you can do it in groups. If you're in solo, I believe they brought back the reset button, which is one that you can do, which is really, really, is really, really good. Now, another thing, since this just popped up, is a really good example. It's up to you whether you want efficiency or if you truly believe that the the events inside of a Nightmare Dungeon are worth the XP for you or if you just rather skip it to go through and defeat the dungeon and then just reset, okay? I would tell you if you are doing Nightmare Dungeons for Glyph EXP and you're only worried about leveling up your Glyphs, then you would pass every single event in here. However, I am 92 and we are going to do maximum xp so i'm going to complete this one because this is a very good event as you can see uh to reset this dungeon dt passed it to me when this little prompt comes up you're always going to decline it and then once we defeat the dungeon we are going to i'll leave first so that way i have the priority and i'll be able to reset the nightmare dungeon now when you are farming this efficiently uh you're going to be able to do each nightmare dungeon roughly in like Four to seven minutes is typically the goal, depending on the size of the dungeon. Okay, and this also depends on your group, if you're doing duos, trios, or a full party. Okay. Now, with that said, another thing I want to mention is that items. You see, I only grabbed my legendary. You typically don't even want to grab a legendary because the legendaries can go back to your inventory stash space and it can hold up to 10. So typically you want to skip picking up any legendaries that you may or may not need for the game. Okay, just let those go back. Just try to keep track. If you really feel like you're not able to keep track of all of the different um, legendaries that you've been not picking up, that's okay. Then go back to your stash. Just take the time to do that and uh, make sure that is always empty so you can just leave them on the ground. Picking up items is going to delay us. We don't need to look at every single item. We don't need to be picking up items that you possibly need etc you want to do this as fast as possible so i have to stress this again okay you don't want to be picking up items you don't want to spend time looking at items you don't even want to go back to town to look at items inside there and even throw them in your stash you only want to use this for speed we only care about exp that is it which is why we're not going to be picking up items as you can see down here on the map i have a legendary down in this corner that one of my teammates uh it dropped from a monster that they killed i am not going to pick that up i'm going to let that go to my stash okay same thing with a lot of this stuff now i could pick up one if i'm fast enough and really just go through and i could take a quick pick at it or peek at it if you are fast enough okay otherwise you don't care about it and again we're going to defeat the boss and then we got the i'm not going to leave the party because we got the world boss in two minutes so we're going to defeat this boss, level our glyph up, and then go do the world boss. But this is exactly how you efficiently farm these dungeons. It'll roughly take you four to seven minutes, depending on your group or even if you're solo. If you're solo, it's even more prevalent to make sure that you are only doing elites and objectives to get through here. We got another butcher's cleaver, which is really, really cool. Okay, so now we got to go do the world boss. Where's the world boss? Uh, crap. Where's the world boss? Two minutes on world boss. Boom. Thank God we're close. So 
So guys, that is the most efficient way and fastest way to farm EXP inside of Diablo 4. There's a few dungeons that I do want to point out as we're traveling to the world boss. Surat's Lair is by far the best. Mercy's Reach is also very, very strong for XP. If you are a solo player, then I 100% uh, solo or duo player, I 100% recommend doing Mercy's Reach or doing Older's Cave. Older's Cave is going to be inside of World Tier or uh, Act 4. Mercy's Reach is in Act 1. And Surat's Lair is all also in Act 1 or Area, whatever you want to call it. I call it Axe because I'm just used to it. So those would be the ones that um, I would recommend to you. We're going to get up here to the World Boss and I'll showcase where these are on the um, map. But yes, town is lava. We do not want to spend any time in town. Hello. So you have Older's Cave right here over in Act 3 or Act 4, I mean. or Yeah, Act 4. And then we have our dungeon that we just did, Surratt's Lair, which is, is technically in Act 2. And then in Act 1, you have uh, Mercy's Reach, which is right actually below Surratt's Lair. All of these dungeons are the best for groups, solo, duo, uh, and singles. So I would definitely recommend that. But yeah, guys, town is lava. Don't spend any time in town. Go farm your EXP, and you'll be able to grind upwards of like 50 million EXP per hour. So if you guys have enjoyed today's video, make sure to drop a like. Comment down below what do you guys think, and let me know down in the comments what caves or dungeons that you guys are farming for XP in the season. Let me know, because maybe there's some we've overlooked and we just haven't found yet. Let me know down in the comments. Subscribe if you guys are new, and join us over here on YouTube for our live streams. We stream five days a week, guys. We'd love to have you. And as always, stay gaming. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Yo, Euphoria with the sub. I appreciate you. Yes, DT. Or uh, DBT, Death by Toaster. Another Town is Lava video. Hey, man, you got to let the people know, man. You got to let the people know. Town is Lava. Okay? You got to let them know. Oh, we got another Max Rapid. Let's go, dude. Greetings. What's this one? Get rid of that. What's this? Another Butcher's. Meh. Meh. How much time do I got? Oh, 10 seconds. Crap. 10 seconds. That's a dub, man. Should I play Necro next class? Yes, yeah, Storm. We're, we should all play Necro. However, if you are feeling a little froggy and you want to play Sork um, because Sork is getting a lot of changes, then I definitely recommend going back to play Sork. I don't even know why I'm attacking. All the lag from all of the, uh... <laughs> look at it. All the lag from the, um, the barber ones. Oh my God. That's funny. And he's dead. Look at that. That is literally just nuts, man. Oh, we got another audacity. Cool. All right. What are we getting here? All righty. World boss defeated. Let's see. What do we get? A uh, bunch of crap. All right. Uh, now I leave. That way I can go reset the dungeon. So yeah, guys, we finished, we got to level 92 or 93 prior to eight o'clock. So I 100% think we're going to be able to, uh, I think we're 100% going to be able to, um, that ain't Barber lag. Oh, there's Trample Slide Druids. Oh, okay. I think we're 100% going to get to 95 tonight. I think that's a, that's a guarantee. All right. Uh, 
What if we all play Necro? What if we all play Necro? Dude, I shredded that boss. Let's go, man. That's basically cheating using the Varver. <laughs> yeah, I mean, the Varver is insane, man. I don't even know if they're going to change it either. That's why I'm like, I don't know what build to put that on. I'm definitely 100% going to be... I might play it with a Necro. I don't know. Imagine the Barber being on the Necro minion build. Like, wouldn't that just be nuts? So yeah, guys, we I think we can I think we 100% get to um, 95 tonight. I think we get to 94 by nine o'clock, and I think we get to 95 by 10:15, maybe 10:30 max. How efficiently we're farming? Shoot. Barber kill war boss in under one minute. Yeah, and it's even stronger. Like it's super strong on rogues too. Like, it's just silly strong on rogues. Invincible blood mist. <laughs> guys, with the sponsor re-ups, man, I appreciate you guys. Thank you so much. Look how long they're stunned for, bro. Yeah, I definitely made a much better decision swapping some of these powers. Ooh, Demon, I just found you a ring. I think I did, anyway. Crit strike, damage to close and vulnerable. You let me know if you want it. You let me know. The close damage doesn't necessarily benefit you, but... It is an option. Otherwise, that's a really good ring and I could go sell that bad boy. Dude, why am I keep getting this ancestral echoes, man? Triple and Buhart is better for most rogue builds. That one's really good. Yeah, that one's probably really good. Yeah, that one does seem really strong. I forgot about that one. We're at 6 out of 10, guys. I don't know which um, heart I would want. Dude, I am just like... My inventory is just a mess, man. Look at all these rings, dude. Look at all these rings, bruh. God, I got... Okay, so let, let's see, let's see. We got the Malignant Pack, which I don't have on here. This is Creeping Death, which I could put on there. This is Varshan's Heart. That's the Barber, right? No. That's the Barber. So what should I put on here real quick? Like, which which ones are, are really good? Like, which ones should we even put in here? Uh, 
Eh, I don't know. Three bars? Nice, dude. DT needs three bars to 100. All right, I'm coming. Can't waste any more time. Uh, try Whirlwind, not a fan, to get boring for me fast. <laughs> you said it would get boring. Yeah, I'm not going to do Barber, that's for sure. I'll save Barber for Rogue or, uh, or like, I would even, I would even use it on, um, Necro with minions. I would use it on Necro with minions. 100%. I think that attack speed one would actually be very strong. I'll go grab that one next. I think that attack speed one would be strong. Oh, hell yeah. That that attack speed one, uh, every, every 20 kills that cycles through would actually be good. Because that one can reset my spirit, which will help me on my hammers. So, yeah, that's the one I need to use. Hundred percent. I tell you what, there's actually a lot of um, resplendent chests in here. Surprisingly. Yeah, dude, join the clan, Carson. We have a very active community, man. Very, very active community. Yeah, I think I put the same one in that I had on Double Swing. Where, like, every 20 kills, I get increased attack speed, spirit regen, and then something else. I can't remember what the third one is. What's his in-game name? Metro, I can add him. Go to Saiyan Warriors and then tell me your in-game name and I can add you. The absorb shield. Oh, absorb shield. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. That, that's good. That's good. That absorb shield's good. Yeah, we're going to slap one of those on. I have another one. Yep, right here. Okay. Let me get to the dungeon real quick. And then let me figure out which one to put this in. I don't know if I should go dagger or wand for arc lash. I think you go dagger, DT, because of the, the close damage, right? Yeah, I think you go dagger. Uh, so I could put it in that. Yeah, let's just put it in this ring. Yeah, that seems good. Yes. Perfect. Telemetry. Nice, man. Nice. <clears throat> An extra 24% attack speed would just be nuts on this build.
I wonder if the, um, yeah, dude, the extra attack speed on this with that is just nuts. Um, I'm actually curious. Yeah, I think that rotates through the, the amount of kills. I think that is affected by the group. Because I literally, like, just had the barrier. I don't think it's kills by me. I think it's just kills. Uh, no, 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 Carson, it won't. You got to tell me what your in-game character name is. Because, like, Super Ninja. Like, normal Super Ninja. I got you. All right. You got to go in and accept it, brother. Here, should we get that potion on? Oh, wait. White heart on me. White heart on me. See how it's white? White heart on me, baby. Just like that, he's dead. Yes, sir. Give me that caged heart. Okay, start of the malignant pack. We just got another one. Perfect. I'll take it. I will take it. AOE pull Necro with Barber would be OP. Does Barber pull? Barber doesn't pull, right? It just does the damage. Dude, that extra attack speed is nutty. Oh my god, it makes Hammer of the Ancients kind of busted. Uh-huh. Oh, Corpse Tendrils. Okay, I got you. I got you, I got you. Yeah, that attack speed. So that means I got like a... I almost have a 50% attack speed when I'm on the attack speed rotation with accelerating. Because I'm critting. Dang. I almost got a 50% increased attack speed. That's nutty, bro. That's nutty, man. Yeah, core and basics have a chance to restore and then a barrier. Come on, man. That's just too dang good if you ask me. Boy, that's good. You got to be kidding me. Very, very nice. Ooh, we got a, such a good smiting. Oh, that's so good. Oh, that's such a good smiting, man. That's right. Back on up. Chad, I'm just going to have to dump some of these things in here. Louise, what's up, man? Oh, I need to put my Hoda one in here. I might have to just dump some of these. I just, I'm gonna, just going to have to salvage some. And worry about it later. Another good exploiters. 
God, this ring is good, but oh well. Crit strike damage, vulnerable damage to stun. Lucky hit, max fury crit chance, very good. Yeah, we're literally just going to have to dump a lot of this stuff. We'll keep the Limitless Rage one, though. That's good. Okay. Let me go back to town and dump all this real quick. Guys, we're almost halfway to 93, and it's only 8.15. So we're 100% we're getting to 95 tonight. That's a guarantee. We're going to get into 95 real good. Let me salvage all this. Greetings. How shall I guide my hammer? My hammer sings on your return. We're, we're to that point, chat. We got so many powers now where we're to that point. Uh, anyone want to run 55 to 60? Yeah, guys, go run with uh, Death by Toaster, man. Go run with him. My man wants to farm. Go farm with the guy. Protection. Get this event out of here, baby. I'll take care of it. Step aside. Look at that attack speed. That's what I'm talking about. Holy crap, dude. Oh, is he vampiric? No, not vampiric. Dude, why is that thing so tough to kill? See, like right there, I felt like I got a bunch of no regs. You know what I mean? I'm taking these guys down, man. I don't care. Give me the EXP, baby. Give it to me. I already passed it to you. All right, hopefully it works. We double passed it, I think. Oh, demon, I just found you your ring. I got you a ring, demon. I just got your ring, bro.
Look at that. I found my boy ring. That is an excellent one. Max crit chance, max vulnerability, almost max crit damage. Demon, you better you better just love me forever on this one, okay? You better just love me forever, man. This ring is dang near perfect. Where are you? This is dang near a perfect ring. Dude, I could sell this for 300 million gold. Look how perfect this thing is. Max vulnerability, almost max crit strike damage, and max crit strike chance. You better love me long time, okay? You better love me long time. Love me long time. I want that I want that love me long time rush hour love. You know what I'm saying? I need that Jackie Chan Chris Tucker love right there. You know what I mean? See, Clamp, that's what we do here, man. I am a community driven streamer when it comes to Diablo, and I'm here to help out people. Now, this is my main core group. I still help out as many people as I can when it comes to items. Uh, that also includes leveling them, level, you know, power leveling people. It also includes, um, you know, questing, all of those things. So a lot, sometimes there's prices for some of that stuff, but look what he just found. Vulnerable damage, lucky hit. Nice. He just got another really good ring. But man, there's myself included and everybody in the community. We are all driven to help everybody out. So it's a good community to be a part of, man. And another reason why I can give him that ring is because I have a bunch of them in my stash. <laughs> I got a bunch of those rings in my stash right now. A bunch of slot, uh, like almost best in slot. Um, like a lot of them are the best in slot uh, uh, stat priorities. Some of them they may not be like best overall stats, but still got a bunch of them in there. Nice. He said those two rings should help him kill Uber Lilith. Let's go. I'm not messing with you no more. You're going to kill me. That made me use all my dang potions. Help me out. That's right. That's right. Back up. Oh, we got another berserk wrecking, ripping. It's okay. It's okay. What is this? Eh, it's just okay. Uh, yeah, man. Love to see it. For sure, champ. Ooh, we got another. Mer That's another Mercy's Reach. That's a good one. Look how long I have them stunned for. It's so good how long I get them stunned for. Q. 
God, dude. This build slaps, man. This build slaps butt cheeks. I need to be more conscious of using my um, shouts a little bit more. What is the best way to find and farm Wrathful Hearts? Uh, I have a video on my channel, uh, Nuga, for doing that. And you're going to be farming the dungeon that has the um, Echo of Varshan. You can farm the dungeon uh, without like doing the Echo part if you want. But um, farming the Echo of Varshan dungeon is the by far the best way. And I have a video on my channel that explains how to do that. It's uh, farming the Wrathful Hearts. So definitely check that out, man. It, it shows you how to go through the, the finish out the quest line. And then how to get the recipes. And then that how to make the invokers to go farm and fight against... Um, to go fight against uh, Varshan. And it is by far the best way. Dang, we got a unique over there too, guys. You see that? See, we got a unique over there. Let's go see what we got, man. We got an ancestral axe, some pants, whole bunch of gold. Yeah, no problem, dude. Absolutely. It's by far the best way. And you can farm the hearts in any tier. Uh, it's just by far the best way. Yeah, another butcher's cleaver. Man, we get that thing a lot, dude. We get that thing a lot. You sold seven unique necro items earlier. See, don't you wish you could just hand them off to me? Like, wouldn't that just be the bee's knees? <laughs> you bet. You better do that, demon. Holy crap! All right, guys, it's eight twenty-six, and we're um, literally halfway to ninety-four. So yeah, I think we're a hundred percent getting to ninety-five by ten fifteen tonight. Pretty sure that's happening. We are farming very, very efficiently right now. It, roughly, it's an hour, an hour a level, hour a level. What are you eating, Demon? You're making me hungry, man. I'm hungry. Yeah, I know, man. I would salvage some uniques too, unless you really, really need money. You can get some good resources from salvaging, but I mean those things do sell for like two, three, four, five, six hundred thousand. You know, grilled chicken and Mexican rice. That sounds good. Sounds very good. Look at the lucky hit for the stun, bro. Yeah, get knocked down. Spigatia. Charles, what's up, dude? The stream has been great, man. How you doing? I'm on vacation with the kids, but it's time for to put my feet up and tune in. Hell yeah, man. Welcome to the stream, dude. I hope you're having a blast on your vacation, man. What are you, uh, what are you doing for your vacation with the family, man? Is it like we're the Millers? You guys are taking a trip down to Mexico? In an RV, just hanging out, camping somewhere, you know what I mean? Oh. Is this thing delayed? Oh, it's broken. Oh, no, he's up there. Okay. There we go. Dang, he chased him all the way up there. Wow. That's wild. We still might get all five done. I don't know. 
Probably not, though. We did right at the last second. Let's go. Just straight smash mouth in. Yeah, you ain't cold. You ain't cold lurking me, bro. Let's go. 20 minutes of bar at 99, by the way. No way, dude. 20 minutes of bar? Did they secretly buff EXP? Another unique. Let's go, dude. Helltide's coming in 30 minutes. I love Helltide's. Another Butcher's Cleaver, dude. Come on with that crap, dude. Nobody wants this thing. I did hear it was good for PvP, though. You took the kids back to Corpus Christi for some beach time. Nice, man. Sounds fun. Twenty minutes a bar at ninety nine. Did they secretly buff our EXP already? If so, that's awesome. That means we're, we might have it by by the end of tomorrow night, guys. Holy crap, which would be even better. Which, yeah, that would be even better because then we could start Wednesday playing Necro. Like, how cool is that? I mean, we're probably going to be getting just to it at the end or at the start of Wednesday, but we'll see. I might stay up tomorrow night just to finish it if we're close. Hell ties are so fun. Oh yeah, hell ties are great, man. Hell ties are literally the best. I don't care what anybody says. No, no, no. I'll go live if I have to tomorrow. Like if we're gonna be close, then I'm gonna go live. But we'll, we'll see what happens. But I will say, if if DT is literally getting a bar. In 20 minutes from 99 to 100, like that's insane. Like that's just nutty. Yes, let's go, Charles. Hell yeah. Storm, I think I'm going to play Necromance. Necro next. Four-man Necro is going to break the game. You're dang right it is. You're dang right. It's perfect. Four-man Necro? Holy crap. We'll be able to trade items. We'll be decked out, man. I'm getting hungry, dude. My tummy. Hungry. I need to eat something. It's going to be fun. Hell yeah. Yep. As badly as I want to play Rogue. We'll get to Rogue. So what we'll have to do, guys, is we'll get to 100, and then we'll just we'll have to take turns power leveling, and then it's nothing but farming for items and stuff, you know? Ooh. Uh, ring... get stomped out see man i feel like sometimes i'm getting no regs on my my smash dude it's either that or like i'm coming across the barber okay i gotta remember i got teammates using the barber i keep forgetting that and it's tripping me out uh necrominion yeah we'll be doing a few different necro builds the main ones that I want to do, obviously, I want to do a Bone Spear one. I want to do a Necro Minion build. 
And then I also want to do a uh, sever, or is it sever? Whatever the core skill is, not not sever. Um, maybe it is sever. Is it sever? No, I'm thinking of something else. Is it sever? Sever's one of the ones. I also want to test out uh, Bloodlance. Like, that seems really cool. Yeah, se Sever. Yeah, yeah, okay, okay. Yeah, like, that seems super fun to play new the new Bloodlance. Like, that That could be really cool. Um, so, yeah, I mean, there's definitely a lot of good options. I think the main one that a lot of people are going to want to see is Minions. And trust me, Chad, we, we're we going to do our best to try to make a minion build. However, it kind of sucks that, like, the one that I had seen is really um, empowered by using, like, the barber, which sucks. However, with that said, yeah, Demon, I'll look at it in just a sec. Uh, with that said, we did see a minion build defeat Lilith with the unique ring. So, I'm curious. I want to test it without using the barber first, but um, we'll see how it goes. We're going to see how it goes. All right, he's going to end up killing me. Help me, Storm. Mother's embrace. It's actually not a bad viable ring. God, dude, Hoda is just so fun, man. I don't care. It's the funnest build. Double swing is really good, too. I wish there was just a way we could figure out how to do... Um, double swing with aoe damage somehow like it would be so nice to figure that out yes ring of melendin uh played your necro before we hit the road she was amazing the the update's gonna make necro feel a little stronger uh but i want to play sever for sure i want to play minions for sure and of course i want to play bone spear uh notification what's up man he goes uh can you give advice for nightmare dungeons for my level 60 to 70 farm the same exact dungeon that we're farming now farm Surat's lair if you're but if you're doing it solo then you need to farm uh Mercy's Reach or go farm um, go farm uh, Older's Cave. Oh, yes, yes. Let me see what Demon said in game chat. All right, hold on. Let me read it again. Uh, possibly. I'd rather just do it in whatever the quickest time is, Demon. So, I mean, even if we have to take turns, like, switching back to one person just to have them even just power level three people at the same time is just efficient. Or at least, like, we do, uh, do, we do it in pairs, like two of us, then two of us, you know what I mean? Because that's just the most efficient way to do it, I think. Um, Ring of Melendon is not an uber unique, no. Wait, 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 hold on, no, 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 no. Yes, it is, yes, it is. No, 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 wait, wait, no, it's not, no, it's not. Is Ring of Melendon an uber unique? I don't think it is.
I'm pretty sure it's not. I mean, yeah, he'll probably be like 70, maybe 80. It just depends. But here's the other thing, too, is like I also want to be able to farm and get and finish our characters to 100. So, like, I, I want to be able to do that, too. Yeah. Yeah, it's not an uber unique. No, it's not an uber unique. There is a ring, but I can't remember if uh, I can't remember what it does. Probably because like only like what one or two people actually found it. I got you. Yeah, we'll just have to look and see where we're at by the end of tomorrow. For sure, because I don't mind doing it either way. I just want to be able to, like I like I don't want to lose time on finishing Barbarian to a hundred if he's going to be a lower level you know because of the necro so i i don't want i don't want to lose that but if we can still do it just as efficiently then then yeah i don't care it's fine saw someone have ring of melendon at 71 shako Uh, you passed it already, DT. Yeah, he passed it. He passed it. Yes, that's right. That's right. That's what it is. Thank you, Nova. Nice, that was huge. Necro's ring is super common. Hell yeah. Oh, make banana bread? Nice. That sounds so good. New patch coming. So, chat, we got a bar to go. And we got 20 minutes to get that bar to stay on schedule. I think we're doing a pretty dang good job tonight. Uh, eluding. Another really good exploiters. I'll keep that. Oh my god. I need to make a drive to undisclosed location to pick up a, a, a loaf <laughs> most people find it around 60 or 70 well don't tell me that demon or it's going to end up being like ramalan's gift again or remnants, remnants. Shadow minions, nice dude, that sounds fun. How is it immune? Doesn't make any sense. 
Lepa, what up, dude? Nice, Lepa. Way to go, man. How am I only doing 100,000 damage to this thing? Why is my damage being absorbed? Uh, we're working on it, Lepa. We'll probably be making walking arsenal after we hit 100. But that's going to be in like the off time. Or not the off time because we're going to be doing... Um, we got to get our Necro and our Rogue to like 70 for the new patch. Yeah, it's weird those things are um it's weird those things like absorb damage it's so weird uh you're at 10 mil death blow and 3.5 mil hoda still loving it nice yeah i have all the um legendaries or the uniques, I should say. But we'll see. We'll we might put it together. We're we're um <laughs> new axe. Uh we're doing pretty good on Hoda right now, so I don't know. We we may get to it. I don't know. We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Uh what are my glyphs on here? My glyphs on here are Exploit, Marshal, um, Embiter, Territorial, and Wrath currently. The next one that we're going to do is probably going to either be Brutal, or not Brutal, Crusher, or um, Undaunted is also a good choice because of the Fortify. Um, so, yeah, I don't know. It depends. It depends. All the glyphs right now, though, I'm not, uh, I'm not removing. So I have wrath, territorial, inviter, exploit, and uh, yeah, those are, and uh, marshal. Those are the ones that I got. Well, this is Hoda. I mean, do, what what um what ones do you run on your Hoda build? Uh, well, well, no, no, yeah, Demon. He he's already said that he's running Barber. So I know I know he's running Barber. He's, he's already said that. Yeah, yeah. Lepa, you told me you were running Barber.
Did you pass it to me? Yeah, he passed it to me. Because he invited. You don't use any Rathals? Okay. And you're doing a 10 million death blow and 3.5 million Hoda at what level are you, Lepa? We just got another Hellhammer. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, you're 87. Okay. I'm I'm what uh I'm what glyphs are you running? I'm curious. Uh, you can't get a unique from a vendor, Amiro. You can't. So like using the ovals won't get you a unique. I mean, the Hoda damage 3.5, I mean, I'm doing that. I'm doing that. Sometimes it's more like 5, 7 mil, sometimes 8 mil. I did crit once for 12 mil. So the Hoda damage seems fine, but 10 million, uh, I'm guessing 10 million death blow damages on the high end. I mean, that, that seems plausible depending on what glyphs in uh, his Paragon board is all set up. You know? Definitely plausible. It could definitely happen. I mean, the 10 mil, yeah. I mean, the 10 mil could be against bosses. That's true. Yeah, the 150% boss damage could be, yep. Yep. Yeah, so 10 mil, 10 mil against a boss. I could see that with death blow, sure. Because of the increased damage. Yeah, I could see that. Exploit Wrath, Mortal Draw, Territorial. Mortal Draw, I don't know what that one does. Mortal Draw. Skills that swap to different weapons deal increased damage. Swapping weapons has an 18% chance to cause the skills damage to critically strike. Okay, cool. I got you. Yeah, yeah. It makes sense. I could definitely see it. Yeah, that seems good, Lepa. That seems good. Wonder if there's any Who are we missing? I'm missing a monster. Well, isn't that just sucky? Dang, dude. You let the butcher beat you? Yeah, that seems good. Walking Arsenal seems 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 strong. And you're doing Hoda? That's cool. So I could actually branch from this build like pretty easily. Uh, Spooky, do you use the Barber on Hoda? Nope, I do not. I do not use the Barber. I only have one Barber, and I have not chosen when I'm going to put that on anything. Have not decided. Uh, 
I have not decided, man. I mean, don't get me wrong. I think I think the barber is a cool thing. Um, but again, it's. I mean, I don't know. I got mixed feelings on Barber. I really don't like the fact that it's like unanimous, unanimously the best overall glyph or the malignant heart. It's like the best overall one. So like if you're not running it, it's just like kind of silly. You know what I mean? It's just, it's just kind of silly if you're not running it because you lose out on so much damage, you know? So... Yeah, I, I agree. I agree. I agree, Lepa. But, I mean, you know, with, with the season of the Malignant Hearts, you know what I mean? It's just you take away from the other Wrathful Hearts, right? Because, like, I'm I'm not using it, so the, so the White Heart that I'm using is this one. Where every 20 kills, it cycles through Vicious, Devious, and Brutal. Um... Which, that one's solid. Like, it's a good one. And then the bleed one that I have, the white heart on the... Or the white malignant heart for the bleed build is very strong. Where you deal increased damage per crowd control effect that you have on somebody. Or, no, excuse me, your damage over time stuff. Like, like those are really strong. But, again, like this one and that one, amongst other ones, are not as good as Barber. Like, Barber obviously is the best. And that's why, like, today, like, I was talking about it because I'm going to play Necro next is I saw I saw a clip of somebody on TikTok completing a, a level 100 nightmare dungeon with a pure minion build. Pure minions. And I was like, holy crap. I mentioned this earlier in the stream. I was like, holy crap, that's insane. Like, I'm, I'm curious to what they're running. And then as soon as, like, they were getting through and, like, kind of explaining the build, and then they're like, yeah, we have the Malignant Hearts we're using are the Barber, and I just immediately swiped up. I was just like, yeah, okay. Like, who cares? Because, like, don't, don't get me wrong. I'm like, okay, it is cool. We have these hearts that are going to make, make builds extremely busted, right? And, and I'm all for that. Like, that's cool. But... The barber is too busted. You know? It's like too busted. So I'm not hating on it. Like, I'm probably going to use it. I'm probably going to use barber on necro. Or I'm definitely going to use... If I don't use it on necro, I'm going to use it on rogue. And just really slash and dash with rogue. And, you know, it'll be fun. Like, that'll be a really strong way for me to power level rogue. You know what I mean? But... I, I wish for this season that, like, the barber didn't exist because I'm all for, like, having seasonal themes where you can make builds really insane for the season. Like, I think that's cool. But the fact, like, again, that, like, every single build you're going to use, you're going to use the barber, like, makes this entire season not, like, the entire seasonal theme just not good. Because it makes every other subsequent heart irrelevant. Like, there's no variety, right? Like, you could pick any class in the game. Any class. And you can pick any build variant of any class. And the bottom line is, it's just like, okay, I have my build, whatever it is. What heart am I going to use? Well, the barber, of course. <laughs> Demon's like this is the this is the season of the barber, yeah, exactly. So like, it doesn't even matter. Like the other two hearts that I have, they're irrelevant. Like I don't need them if I'm if I'm running barber. It makes no sense because they're they're not gonna matter. Because the barber is gonna do everything for you.
10% movement? Get out of here. Uh... Um, Relentless Berserker? It's the new one. Uh, spooky, it's exclamation point builds with an S. Uh, DT, are you done? You're almost to 100, man. Um, are you talking about this one? You're berserking 99% of the time. Um, I don't think I know what you're talking about, Lepa. What's it called? Oh, if he's probably about to hit 100, then that makes sense. Relentless Berserker. What does Relentless Berserker say? Oh, Relentless Berserker, like on a uh, on a lucky hit, I have a chance to increase my um, my berserking by two seconds. Uh, no, I'm not running that one. I'm running Exploiter. Um, I could definitely try it. It's honestly unreal on the lucky hits. DT, congrats, man. Big it's shout out to DT. Nine. That's insane. It literally took him an hour to get from 99 to 100. Congrats, DT. That's awesome. Okay, I'll have to try that then. Congrats, DT, man. Way to go. Because I have exploiters on right on my boots right now. Um, just against the unstoppable, but... Cause let's see. Berserking gives me... What is it? 15% increased move speed and then 35% increased damage? Or is it 25% increased damage? I think it's 25%. Congrats, DT. So, Chad, that means that tomorrow we could probably hit 100. That honestly means that tomorrow night we could probably hit 100. 25 base. Okay, so it's 25 uh, damage and 15% movement speed. No, you're a <laughs> demon. I'm not even going to lie. With how much I stun, I could probably just get rid of Stomp and just run Wrath of the Berserker. If I'm being honest. Nine oh three guys, we're almost a bar into ninety four. We're a hundred percent getting to uh, to ninety five by ten o'clock. That's a hundred percent happening. Um, but I am curious to try that. I could go do relentless berserker. I could try it. I didn't realize it, it procs off of the quake. I'm debating if I should stay up and hit level 100 tonight. Storm, you got four levels to go. 
Well, if you don't want to stay up tonight, Storm, you could just wait till tomorrow. Because uh, I'll probably end up turning the stream on tomorrow to get to 100. I might just stay on and do it. Because we're going to hit 95 and change tonight. So... Oh my god, we just got another Bolts Chieftain. Let's go, dude. Oh my god, we just... And look at it. Oh, it's such a good ring, too. Oh my god, we just got another Bolts Chieftain. Let's go. About dang time. About god dang time. Good lord, it's about time. Because then my 1.1 Bolts Chieftain needs to, needs to be swapped out. <laughs> you don't use bold chieftain what are you using on your ring then let me see this real quick uh expectant uh, smiting retribution limitless rage berserk gripping but you're using you're using the other one right you have to be for your shouts right Oh my god, we're at 9 of 10. Choker. Call forth stuff. I have no, I have no room. Uh, let me see if I have a uh, berserker. Yep, relentless berserker right there, thirty-four percent chance. What are all those? I'll throw it on. I don't mind. Let's let's test it. God, that Bolt's Chieftain is a really good ring, too. He got the Scroll of Amnesia. Nice, nice. All right, so let's drop, let's drop Exploiters here. We'll put on Relentless Berserker at 34%. And uh, let's, let's see how it does. The Scroll is the only good thing. Uh, Ellie has a Gok. I'm using Perfect Echo and Perfect Umbral. Nice. Um, Earth Strikers, which guarantees overpower. Interesting. You have zero Fury issues with Death Blow. Um, okay. I mean, I would probably keep Band of Echoing Fury, but I could definitely swap Bold's Chieftains. I don't know what the heck I would put on for it, but... Uh, not sure. Pop Potion. Uh, I already have... I have Edge Master's Lepa on my um, amulet. Uh, yep, I'm using ex Expectant on one of my um, one-handeds. Uh, we're going to need an updated... Yes, I'll have one for you. Yep, I will have one. Uh, no, I don't want to start leveling his thing until I get to, um, 95. It's 908. I would like to finish getting my guy to 95.
Because remember, we're going to have to take him through the capstones and stuff. So if somebody else could help him with that while we're doing this leveling, then that would be cool. But, um, yeah, I want to make sure... I want to make sure I get to 95. Because, I mean, it's not going to take us long. Plus, when I only have like an hour left on stream to hit 95, I'd rather, I want to focus on getting that done first. So I need to pass this to Demon. Yeah, but see, um, Leppa, I don't think that one that guarantees the overpower would be something I need for this build. Because I'm not necessarily focused on overpowering. Dominique with 10 it's gifted over. memberships, you god. Holy crap, you're insane. Thank you, man. I appreciate that. Thank you so much. Yeah, so yeah, I don't know what I would replace in that ring slot. Dominique, thank you so much for the 10 gifted. I really do appreciate it. Yeah, because I only got I only got three bars to get it all done in 50 minutes. So God man, we just cannot get a good amulet at all. Such a pain. Alright. Um Crusher. 30% increased overpower damage. I almost want to try it, but let's do Wrath next. <sighs> Dom, you're the GOAT, man. Much love. Off to work now. Have a great night at work, Dominique. I'm glad we could uh, entertain you, man, until you got there. I mean, I will say, um, I do like the, I do like the, the res Relentless Berserker boots. Those are nice. I like that. This ring, though, is so good. When you look at it, the resource gen obviously is not the best. Um... And the Max Fury is not that great. But we would end up re-rolling damage to stun to be vulnerable damage, which would be huge. Although damage to close enemies is still very good. It would either be that or we take this power, the Bold Chief Chieftains, off and put it on this one. But I don't know. I'd have to level it up first. Uh, hey, why not ground stomp for steel grass for um, Holy crap, it's still going uh, We do have a spot open guys if somebody wants to come in while DT's out rolling his necro
Uh, yeah, you're right, actually. The Max Fury would probably be what we would want. Yeah, no, no, we have Max Fury on it. Max Fury, crit strike, resource gen. Yeah, we would need a uh, vulnerable damage. Yeah, I don't know what else I would put in, in that ring spot, if I'm being quite honest. As far as, like, another power. Maybe if uh, on the update, when Temetry gets fixed, I could put Conceited in. Because, like, the barrier is always going to be up. You know what I mean? But I do like the rel Relentless Berserker stuff. That seems to be triggering a lot. I'm trying to keep an eye on it and see. Yeah, because it keeps resetting. That's really nice. Yeah, so the Quake does actually help with that a lot. Yeah, I just went through a full rotation with my Berserking up the entire time. Yeah, that's way better. Because that flat 35% is just so good. Dang, man, I'm going to have to do an update on my up on this video or on this build, dude. Because even when I swapped to Accelerating, that was way better than uh, Rapid. Way better than Rapid. Because we are non-stop critting all the time. Yo, Lepa, man. Huge dub, dude. Yeah, we can bring you in, dude. Are you in the clan or are you on the friends list? What time will I be live tomorrow, War? Uh, well, don't forget, tomorrow's normally our time off. Um, however, with the with the height of the the patch, and I want to get Necro and Rogue to like both to at least level 70 before the patch comes out, so I can make videos on them. That's why we're gonna. Oh, it's Vampiric. Okay, I'm not gonna fight him. Unless this is artillery. Oh, it's lethal. Ooh, this could be good. Yep. And he's dead, just like that. Oh, he's already in there fighting. Uh, neither. Are you already if you're already in a clan, then you can just add me, but if you're not in a clan, join my clan. I wonder if exploiters would be good. Yeah, I wonder if exploiter not not exploiters, um Um, yeah, not exploiters. Uh, I have it sitting here somewhere. I wonder if um, smiting would be good. The increased crit chance. And then we get the crowd control effect on there. That might be pretty solid. God, these things are just so poopy. You're not even running exploiters on your Sork, really? Um, but yeah, store because I want to get those things done. Um, I'll probably be at least on at the normal time. However, I probably won't be streaming until unless we're like super close.
Yeah, I sent him a request too. I don't know if I if he got it, but That's the other thing we need to do too, guys, is like our renown. Uh Lepa, did you get it? I just sent it to you. Uh, when you get it, just request to join on me. Locky. Nice. It's your brother's name. Oh my God, he just got wrecked. Why keep getting that same stupid ring? Keep getting the same ring, man, or the same mal malignant heart, dude. The demon say he was going to the toilet. Is he taking a poop? Let's go. <laughs> I think he's taking a poop. I think he said BRB bathroom. I have a turtle head poking out, I think is what he said. Stupid suppression. There we go. Eat that four million. Sweetie's back. Okay. We were beginning to think you fell in, demon. We were all very concerned. We all thought it was a little late to drop the kids off at the pool, you know? It was a never ending pee. <laughs> Let's go. We're getting to ninety five before ten, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, really? Oh, you're not that guy, pal. There we go. 
That's what I'm talking about. Noise. Another exploiters. Man. Looks like you keep all of the seasonal blessings. My elixirs are still 45 minutes. Yeah, that's what I mean. That's, that's why I'm saying like being able to level alternates dt is going to be really easy to do i think it's going to be a lot easier than what people think because of the um the seasonal blessings like and using the ashes on the bonus xp i mean hipster what's up dude how's it going what's the best thing to do between levels 50 to 55 they're so dangerous to jump uh i mean 50 to 55 it 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 just depends on what you want to do. You should be able to go to World Tier 3 now. Yeah, let's go. Oh, we got a little bit of lag. There we go. Nice. We're doing some serious damage here. Let's go. Yeah, that's what I mean. That extra 8% on top of the 5, you're talking about an extra 13%. And then another 15% because you're going to be, you'll be in World Tier 4 getting carried. So you're talking about an extra 28% and then another 10% from the party. So you're talking about another like 48% XP to power level characters from like 15, 16, 17 to 70. Like it's going to be pretty easy. I, I, In fact, I probably think it's going to be a little easier even with the change because of the extra bump. But it's probably going to be more like the same. You know what I mean? I don't think it's going to be that hard to power level people. I think it's probably going to take us the same amount of time, if I'm being honest, if not faster. And then it'll be even faster once they change the uh, the thing on the 8th. Like, leveling people after the 8th, if they, whatever they end up buffing from 50 to 100 is going to be nuts. Yeah, yeah, but that's what I mean, though. Yeah. Dang, Storm, why you have to do him like that, bro? You ain't have to do him like that, bro. I'm guessing that's an event. Pass, demon. Pass it. Oh, dude. I have a bunch, man. I got a bunch, too, dude. That's what I mean. Like, we're going to be able to level people so easily. It's going to be great. We're about to be halfway to 95, guys, and it's only 930. Yeah, I think tomorrow night I might end up getting to 100 tomorrow night. We might have to do a surprise pop-up pop up stream just to showcase getting to 100 because this is kind of nuts. Because if I stayed on till 11, I'd hit 96. Easy. Ooh, another rapid. That's kind of nice. What's this? Oh, we got... Oh, my God. We got a max shout of Echoing Fury. We got max Echoing Fury. Let's freaking go, dude. Oh, so clutch, man. 
We just got Max Max Echoing Fury. Let's go, dude. That's what I'm talking about, baby. Let's go. It's over 9,000! Let's get it. Let's freaking go, man. We got both of our rings tonight. That's so good. Maybe it's like low key. Did they like low key secretly buff EXP? Or are we just farming so efficiently? It doesn't matter. Uh, Metro, you said, uh, uh, what's the Metro? What's the stats on the, um, on the, uh, hammer? Put it in, uh, put it in clam, in clan. Oh, you did? Strength, close, core. Uh, no, not, uh, that one's okay. It's just the core. The core is not good. I more or, I mean, core is good. I just don't want core. Nightmare Dungeons XP is increased. Uh, did they say that in the patch notes? I don't remember it being increased. Yeah, I don't. I don't think like doing Nightmare Dungeons made XP increased. Like, as an additive. I just think we've been farming pretty efficiently. But, I mean, we've been, like, we've been farming some levels, dude. What was the increase? I don't remember. Yeah, I don't remember the XP being increased. Oh, Butcher. Are you talking about in the late... Did they buff it in the latest patch again? Because I don't remember reading that. Oh, he's talking about before the nerfs? Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm talking about again. I'm, I'm asking if they, if they patched it again. Or not patched it, but buffed it again. Storm, how have you not killed him already? Are you not running poison damage? Is all this oh you're using ice and shadow okay gotcha Holy crap, dude. <laughs> Where the heck did that guy come from? Yeah, DT, if you're talking about the old buff that they did to Nightmare, I know about that one. I, I was referencing maybe if they buffed it again silently and we just didn't, you know, obviously we weren't told about it because it feels like we... Cause I remember it before, like it felt like it took us what, like it took us like two or th two or three hours or something like that to go from 99 to a hundred. Wasn't it something like that before in season zero?
But that, but, but then again, that was before the buff to Nightmare Dungeons, so. Yeah. Just in time. Oh my gosh. Nice. More rapid. I'm getting a bunch of those now. I'm looking for a new sword. Dr. Knight, what's up, dude? What happened to your bleed build? Uh, that was two or three builds ago. Dark Knight. We've done like four or five builds for Barbarian already. And we still got like one more to do, technically. That lucky hit chance on that berserking is so good. It's kind of nice that like my my quake has a chance to reset it. Like that's pretty cool. I could probably have a hundred percent uptime if it was forty percent instead of thirty four. Still pretty close though already. I've gotten so much gold tonight. Dude, that's what I'm saying. We've gotten almost another 10 million gold tonight. We farmed like 10 million gold in uh, in four hours on this map. That's without selling a single item. That's without selling a single item. We'd probably have twice as much or three times as much if we were selling. Because on average, you sell and get like on a, at a minimum 500k per run. Which means that if you're doing a run in like four minutes, shoot, dude. Think about how much money that is. I'd have so much more money. I've just been salvaging everything because like 10 million gold in four hours is not bad when you're only picking up gold. Like it's not bad. I'll be looking at putting that uh those uh those those newly acquired rings on my build to have like such good echo or such good um resource on my shouts. It's gonna be so good. Tipper, what's up, dude? Yeah, man, we're running Hoda. It's the second to the last build. The only other build that we're gonna be doing for Barbarian is um Walking Arsenal. However, we will be making updated endgame builds for uh, the Barbarian on almost every build that we've already done. Almost all of them. So what I'll do is, is I'll make an endgame build with the changes on the 8th. We'll make one for Hoda. We're going to make one for um, Double Swing. And then we'll make only one bleed build because I think we're going to be doing Maelstrom. I think that's a better bleed build than just flat Ren. So we'll make a super end game bleed build. With Bloody Maelstrom, which I think will be really, really cool. So we'll make four end game, permanent end game builds for Barbarian. We'll have Bloody Maelstrom, Hoda, Double Swing, and... Uh, Walking Arsenal.
And we just got another Rage of Argoth. How cool is that? Now, I will say, guys, that the a few of the builds that are going to end up using uniques will um, will have to require me to find brand new um, updated armor pieces. So there will be that. Or like weapons because of the changes that they made. Why no spin to win? Why no whirlwind? I don't know, man, because it's just too too plain, dude. It's like the one of it has been one of the best barbarian builds, and I feel like it's I feel like it's really just been absolutely everywhere, and it's just been like the main main build for a barbarian for such a long time. Now, coincidentally enough, I mean I am gonna be doing a twisting blades bill as as well as a um bone spear build on necro and rogue which is ironically their two best builds or the two builds that have been ran, ran the most so but i don't know man um uh it's just i don't know man i'm just i'm not a big whirlwind fan I've never been a big whirlwind guy Just never really, I never cared for it in Diablo 3 either. Like, I only used it in Diablo 3 to farm. That's it. And then once I, once I figured out how to play Hoda in Diablo 3, like, I just never played Whirlwind unless I had to. DT's already 23 with his Necro. Nice. He's probably, somebody's probably carrying him through the capstone. That's good. I mean, it already sh it already proves that like power leveling somebody is gonna be real easy, just like it was before. And then after the eighth, it's gonna be even easier because of the the exp changes that they're gonna make to uh, to like the the levels from sixty to or fifty to a hundred. Caps are done. Nice, dude. Get after it, brother. Who just hit ninety five? Was that you, Demon? We're getting some levels, man. It is. My Necro got power level to 60 and now is 70. Easy. Yeah. That's what I mean. Our power leveling is going to be easy. It's, it's, it's not going to matter. Especially, like, if you have the Ashes, too. The only thing that we really need to do is we really got to take the time to get our stupid Renown back max to get those other, those other 20 points for uh, the god dang Paragon board. It's so dumb. I wish that they would just, like... They really just need to let us only do that one single time. That's it. One single time, period, end of story. We should never have to do it ever again for any... Anything. It's just a big waste of time. Yeah, dude, the Renown stuff is just such a waste of time, man. You finish your renown yesterday, six hours. I'll never get it back. It's done. Well, to be honest, it's it's pretty fast when you do the dungeon splitting. That really helps. Obviously, strongholds are strongholds. Like they're, they're pretty easy to complete. Um, but it's just it's just such a time waster, man. It's just such a time waster because you need you you need the extra twenty renown points for your paragon board. You just do. It's like it's literally like an extra like upwards to what is it like fifty or twenty five percent increased damage. Like it's just so good. Uh no, you don't have to do it on an alt. So like once you do it for the very first time on the season, you won't have to do it again.
Uh, yeah, once yeah, it's the same thing death by toaster that they did in in season zero. Once you are, once you do it in this very first season, you won't have to do it again for new seasons. But it's just a pain. Like they kind of helped us out by getting us almost to stage three at the very start, which is nice. Don't get me wrong, but they should have just given it to us all. Like we should, like we already did it on season zero. We should just have it indefinitely. That I mean, that's I, you know, in my opinion, but. All right, chat. Fifteen minutes till ten o'clock, and we're we are literally a bar from ninety-five. So yeah, with tomorrow being my Friday, if I get on at the normal time of six o'clock, and we just literally just farm, you're talking about gaining. I would say three levels by ten o'clock tomorrow. Why am I just like stuck and I'm not swinging? So if we got to 98 by 10 o'clock tomorrow night, I'd probably stay on if it only took 20, 40, 60, 80, an hour and 10 minutes to get from 99 to 100 because DT said it took him 20 minutes per, uh, per bar. So which means that probably by midnight tomorrow night, we could have Barbarian to level 100 and then Wednesday we can start Necro get necro power leveled and then we can get rogue power level that'd be pretty that'd be pretty tight yeah 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 yep so we'll we'll do that tomorrow it'll be pretty sweet if we can hit if we can hit 100 by 10 that would be even better because i mean the fact that it was only taking 20 minutes per bar in 99 to 100 yeah you're right well maybe not five levels dt we can probably get we can probably get five levels by 11. Five levels by 11. All right, officially one bar to go, guys. 13 minutes till 10. I think we can do it. The renowned dungeon buff was really nice. Yeah, I think so too. So, I mean, it, it helps, right? Like, it helps. And then because you can split the, um, like, dungeon farming, like, it, it makes it really nice. Because, like, what are dungeons now? They're 40. What were they before? 30. So, they increased them by 10. Uh, Donnie, do we need to do all dungeon strongholds waypoints and we're maxed? Well, the, the, the math has changed, DT, since, uh, since dungeons are worth more now. Uh, we're 100%. We might even get it on this run with this. remember before it was you needed to do all the strongholds the map all every single waypoint all of the dungeons and then after you did all of that then you had to do like on average 12 side quests but i don't think it's that way anymore since they buffed how much renown you get from dungeons what's this i've been cursed who cursed me Yeah, see, that's how it should be. Three or four side quests. Oh, no, you're good. You're good, Leffa. Don't worry about it. Nice.
We got another bold chieftain. Oh, it's only 1.2 though. That's not bad. Uh, Demon, did you pass? Or did I pass it to you? There we go. Couple more runs, guys. We're going to get 95 by 10. That's actually perfect. It's only a 26% chance. Oh, that's a max expectant. We should put that on since that's a second max expectant. That's only... Yeah, I might go do that real quick. Let's get the boys in here real quick, though. Yeah, the side quest should just be an optional thing for EXP, Donnie. That, that's how I think of it. I think it should be optional. Like, I think side quest should be an optional thing that players can do if they want to, like, do something different and have another content piece and then be able to get XP from those. Like, only requiring us to do three or four for... Uh, for like this season to actually max out our um our renown i think it's fine like three or four before like i said you had to do everything you had to do all the strongholds the entire map all the waypoints every single dungeon in the game uh and then on top of that then you you had to complete this complete this or do all your altars everything and then you had to do like 12 or 13 side quests per zone and now, like, all the dungeons, this should help. I mean, an extra 10 points per dungeon is a lot. I mean, to be honest, look at this. I'm almost at level 4, and I haven't done 200 more points of this. And then, like, like it's just, it's just going to be super easy. We might end up spending some good amount of time, guys, on Wednesday to max out our renown. We might just do that just to, just to get it done. Because it's, it's not going to take that long. Especially if we split the dungeons, it's not going to take long. Right, exactly. That's what I mean, dude. It's just like... It is... But, but it, like, even though it's better and easier as long as we dungeon split to do it, the point is, is that it's, it's a humongous waste of time that we still have to do. Which to me is just it's just stupid. Like we should we shouldn't have to do it. Like straight up. We just shouldn't we shouldn't we shouldn't have to do it. Cause it's just a time waster, man. You know, if you guys are big Asmin Gold fans, or like or even if you're not the biggest fan of him, he does have a really nice take on he made a video at like 7 o'clock in the morning. He had a really good take on like how like Diablo wastes our time in a lot of a lot of areas with minute things because apparently for them it's all about playtime and keeping us on the platform. And like that's another big reason like member like hey why would they increase the 
dungeon timer to leave a dungeon from three seconds to five seconds or like 2.5 seconds to to five seconds like why would they do that is because it like over time it makes us stay on the game longer which is what their shareholders care about which is like dang when you think about it like that and then when you see the, some of these patches and updates and you see why they make certain things a certain way you're like yeah that's dumb that makes no sense Just like before, like before example, before they, they changed it to where uh, we can teleport directly to the dungeon. Think about how much time we wasted running from Nightmare Dungeon to Nightmare Dungeon. The, all that is like designed to keep us on the platform and just like keep our play times high. It's kind of crazy when you think about it. Uh, next run, chat. We'll finish right at 10 o'clock. We're going to finish this run, and the next run should be 95. Yep. I know it, Donnie. I know, man. I feel you, dude. I'm with you, man. And we're about to play Necro, so. It's kind of one of those things, man. Kind of one of those things. I mean, farming for uniques is just like kind of whatever. You know, like, don't get me wrong. It was, I still had a lot of fun playing um, Sorcerer. But obviously, like, all the builds got so much better once I was able to have remnants, right? So, but it should it should be worth that. I mean, now as far as the drop rate and, how, you know, like 1.2, good Lord. Like how long that should actually take and all that stuff is just different, but. Jay Harrison, what's up, dude? I'm thinking about making an alt. Should I play Bone Spear, Necro, or Rogue? Um, I'm going to play Necro first, but I'm also playing Rogue. I think what you should do, Jay Harrison, is play Necro with us. I think that's what you should do. How long is it going to take for one of us to find an Uber Unique? I don't know. I'll probably never get one. What the heck? I'll probably never get one. And if I do end up getting one, I know it's going to be one that I don't need. Or, like, don't care to play. You know what I mean? Or, like, use. Obviously, getting Shaco would be really sweet. Because then it's just, like, you can literally just bounce that between all of the classes. You know? It'll be the grandmother. I'll get the grandmother unique. <laughs> it, yeah, dude, with DT's luck, it'll be it'll be him, man. I swear he's running scripts on his computer, man. He's running scripts, man. Guys, he's devious. He plays on Xbox. All right, then he's using a Cronus. I only scripts to do my work for me while I play D4. <laughs> he's got a Cronus Zen then, guys. Uh, well, yeah, Jay Harrison, how old is that, though? Is that in season uh, season one? Ooh, that's the one I needed, the K-chart of the calculated. Uh, I don't 
don't care about the knockdown. I want the... God, this one... All right, cool. More stun. Oh, new heart. Well, okay. Here, okay. So this, let me let me just fix all this real quick, because Jay, I don't want you to get excited. Okay, let me let me explain something. Any build that you see that does crazy damage, and then it and it says this is the build, and then it says, and we were using the barber. 100% of that damage is all from the barber. So it, it, it is, it doesn't matter what build you're playing. It really doesn't. Because the barber is so strong, it does not matter what build you're playing. So just keep that in mind, man. You could play, you could play the, the, a made up build with zero skills on your skill bar, and the barber will do 300 million damage at level 100. I mean, it's just. It doesn't matter. So. Just keep that in mind. Just keep that in mind. It literally does not matter what build you're playing. It has zero relevance. Of one clipping the butcher with lightning shred, right? And if you're if you're using the barber, it makes complete sense. Yeah, dude, it's now. Don't get me wrong. We talked about this earlier, Jay. If you if you were coming in late, like I'm all for this season being about hearts and us doing some crazy things. My issue is that we only have one heart that is doing all that. That's my issue. GG's guys. That's my problem. Because again, because of how strong the barber is, and I said this earlier, even me running these other, like any of these three on this build, I could just remove all three of these, throw the barber on, and then I'm done. I don't have to use a single other heart. Zero. None of them. I don't have to use any. And, and that's the problem. Because there's actually like a lot of really good hearts. Um, guys, I only need 400,000 XP. Um, uh, Lepa, thanks for playing, man. Appreciate you, dude. We're just going to get this. Um, we're just going to get to 95 real quick. <laughs> Be sure to put relentless aspect in your video. Yeah, I'm gonna keep it on my boots. Now all I want is I need to find a I need to find a 40% instead of a 34. I, I gotta check my inventory. I literally just grabbed the first one that I came across. I'm sure I have one, but um, yeah, well, well, no, like the barber one shouldn't exist. It just shouldn't exist because they they had what they say they had 32 hearts. They had 32 hearts. So really you have one heart. So you got 31 hearts in the game that um yeah, 40%. You literally you literally have 31 other hearts in the game that are irrelevant. Donnie DK with a five gifted membership. Let's go. There we go. 95, baby. Let's get it. Donnie, you're a god, man. Appreciate it. Thank you so much, man. Because you're up past curfew. I appreciate that, dude. 
yeah we're just gonna finish this one out um if they if the guys want to keep this dungeon going otherwise i'm sure we all have enough so we're just gonna finish this dungeon and then we're gonna hop off and then i think it'll take us six hours tomorrow night to get to uh maybe five maybe five hours i think it but i think it'll take us like at least five to get to a hundred tomorrow which isn't bad I appreciate that, Donnie. Uh, what was... What did he say? Uh, doesn't Necromancer have the best hearts anyway? Uh, yes. But but see, but, the, but that right there is the, is the exact point. So, like, besides the Barber, like, the Necro does have the best hearts. Which is really cool. Like, they have strong hearts. But again, why would you run any of them if you're... If you can just run the Barber? You know? If you can just run the barber, why run any other hearts? It doesn't make any sense. We're just going to finish this one out, guys. Berkey, what's up, man? Welcome back. You showed up right at the end. Nice. Okay, I don't need any of these either. Let's see these. Nothing. Okay, cool. All right, awesome guys. Uh, I'm a I'm gonna leave party. Appreciate the games, guys. Thank you so much. Long shift today. Nice. Level fives for the armor bonus. Let's get it. That's a quote you should quote you should frame. What what frame? What should I what should I be quoting? Or which one did I say? Hey, appreciate it, man, on 95. Yeah, dude. I think tomorrow night, we're going to be off stream tomorrow night, guys. I want to preface this. It's normally my day off. Um, however, we always take our days off and we do background stuff um, to, like, whether it's builds or getting set stuff set up for videos, etc. you know. Uh, but tomorrow night, what we will be doing is I will be off stream, guys, tomorrow night. And I'm going to farm with the boys. And uh, we are going to be farming to get to level 100 tomorrow night. We are 95. It took DT from 99 to 100 for each bar. It was 20 minutes because of how good we were farming. So I'm guessing that it's going to take me at least five hours, five and a half hours to get from 95 to 100 tomorrow night. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to farm tomorrow night with the boys. If anybody's around, look out for me on Twitter or Discord. Uh, it'll mainly be in Discord. Um, to farm those those ending levels. Okay. Ooh, we got a, got a thing. Um, Uh, with that said, what I will do is I will try to turn on my stream uh, by the time we get like to level 100, like when we get close. Um, otherwise, I will at least record it and put it up, but we'll see how that goes. And then Wednesday, <clears throat> we're going to have a long stream and we will be doing Necro. We will be leveling up Necromancer and we will be leveling up Rogue. The plan is, is tomorrow night, if we get Barbarian to level 100 before midnight, which I believe we will. Wednesday, we will be power leveling Rogue and Necromancer, both to level 70. And then after that, we will start on Necromancer and we're going to get gear and try to make builds work. After that, we will be doing Rogue. I want to get all this stuff done prior to the... Wow, holy crap, dude. I have 1,000 strength. Um, prior to the August 8th patch update. Okay. Now also with, with, with all that being done too, what this also allows us to do is have everything set for the barbarian builds, rogue builds and necromancer builds after the patch goes live. Cause we're going to have to swap back to barbarian because we got to find a couple items that got changed for some builds that we have in particular the bleed build otherwise we will be doing end game permanent end game builds for barbarian because we're level 100 
uh, by that time. And then hopefully we can get Necro to level 100 by that time. To be honest, we could probably get like Necro to level 100 by that time if we really wanted to to focus down. Um, now that I really think about it, if we were really grinding it out, we probably could. Um, but with that said, uh, Mr. X, yes, we will also be doing an end game build after the eighth of walking arsenal. So that'll be another big change that we will be doing. Finally, Max, good Lord. Nothing there. So yeah, guys, so now I got to figure out what I'm going to do with, uh, this, looping fury and then this bull where's the bold chieftain and this bold chieftain we got to figure out how we're going to use these two on this build in particular so in before uh what never leave this? rogue for the rest of season one <laughs> uh demon said turn it on on 99 and don't do another short stream for 100 there are so many ways i can kill you so yeah guys we will um and we will do that so that'll be the plan so hopefully be on the lookout in discord uh we will probably post in there and figure out when we're going to go live towards the end depending on how long it'll take if it's only 20 minutes that's only an hour and 10 minutes to go from 99 to 100 so what we might do is maybe turn the stream on at 98 or like 98 and a half so that'll give us like a two hour stream which will be kind of cool tomorrow night so but in the meantime, um, what I will be doing is changing out the ring and powers to go on these um, and getting this all finalized. And then what we will be doing is we'll be looking forward to changing uh, or getting the at least everything set up for walking arsenal. So that way on the 8th, we're good. And then what also I can do is, is after I do all that and I get all the power set for walking arsenal, guys... Then I can finally come in here and we can clean out our god dang inventory. This tab will be all the different builds. Because we got, uh, this is up here, this is our bleed. This is a double swing. And then I'm wearing Hoda. And then this fourth one will be, um, this fourth one will be any, uh, will be walking arsenal. And then this bottom row will be any extra like major gear pieces. And we're going to do the same thing on these three tabs for uh the other classes but don't forget guys too on the eighth we're getting a fifth tab which will be awesome and i need to go sell some of these rings you've already gotten three uniques let's go dude you didn't feel out of place hell yeah uh dt real quick before i sign off um how long should i put these like some of these rings up for in that discord because i'm probably going to do that on wednesday Um, you can just answer me or just send me, like, uh, how you like to do that in Discord. That'd be fine. But um, Dominique and Donnie, I really do appreciate the gifted memberships. Guys who are new members or returning members, big shout out to them for all that, guys. Um, but, yeah, time to get off, guys. We are 95. We'll be 100 tomorrow night, which will be pretty freaking sweet, man. Oh, gotcha. Okay. Um. So yeah, I guess I guess the real question is is how many like what should I sell some of these rings at? Because like for example, like this ring right here, crit strike damage, damage to close and vulnerable damage, and they can reroll crowd to crit chance or something or lucky hit. Like I could probably sell like this ring for fifty million, and then I have another one just like it, max fury, max life, crit chance. I could sell this one for maybe ten million. Uh, damage to close, max fury, crit strike, vulnerable damage. I could 100% sell this one for 50 million because somebody can re-roll whatever they want. Just start an auction at like 20, 30 million. Yeah, because I have a bunch of these rings. Like I have so many good rings. It's insane how many good ones I got for for Barbarian. It's kind of It's kind of stupid. I got so many good ones. Like this one right here. Insanely good. Just reroll max life to crit damage. And you're set. Or actually more. Actually really it should be. Um, 
resource gen. This one, lucky hit, crit chance, resource gen. You reroll crowd uh, crowd control to uh, vulnerable or crit damage. Either one. Like in that ring's baller. Like I have so many of these. Yeah, we're gonna make some money on Wednesday. But okay, guys, thank everybody so much. I appreciate DT Storm uh, Demon as well as uh, Lepa and uh, who else did we play with tonight? Um, Lepa and we played with them right at the start. It wasn't Death by Toaster. Amiro. Was it Amiro? Or, yeah, I think it was Amiro. Played with Amiro at the beginning. So big shout out to you guys. All right, everybody. I will see everybody uh, for a pop-up stream tomorrow night on our last finish to 100. Otherwise, I will see you guys all Wednesday. So have a great rest of your week. Uh, yeah, Amiro. Yep. Have a great rest of your week, guys. And, uh, you know, be cool. Have fun. Be safe. Do all those good things. And as always, stay gaming. And I'll see everybody tomorrow slash Wednesday. Have a great night, guys. Peace.